Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and as you guys know, I've been gone for four days. I'm so sorry. But I'm back now, and I'm ready to make more crafts. Okay, so, uh, what's the first craft? Okay, so for this one, we're gonna need a balloon. We're gonna need to blow it up. Then we grab our phone, and we just do this. is still a little bit blown up, but it works! It's kinda cool, actually. I'm gonna do it one more time. Maybe I can do it a little better. Okay, then we grab our balloon and we just... Woo! The only problem I could think of with this is you have a little flappy now, but I guess that could be kinda cool. You just kinda dangle it like that. Yep, it looks like it works! Okay, Tori, are you ready for the massage of your life? I'm ready. It doesn't look like the camera pointed at me at all. It looks like it's pointed at my butt. Okay, it's pointed at Bransky. Let's see what the first massage is. Yeah, lay down straight. Yeah. You never lay down Ow. correctly. <laughs> okay, so the first thing. Be gentle, because I hurt. Movements should be light and smooth. Yes, light move. The torso. Do up like this. So I do it like this. To the light. Oh, light. So light like that. <laughs> You're not even touching it. <laughs> no, it hurts. Is that good? Do you like it? No, it hurts. Like that? Yeah. Okay, it's good. Okay, that's said to go down like that. Do you like that? It's good? It's good. I think this one works. Why okay. do you sound like cowboy music? Because they're naked cowboys. No. Oh. Okay, so this one, it says do this. How's that? Is that good? It's not bad. So you can do it a little bit harder my lower back. Oh, oh, oh. Is that good? Oh, yay. Is good? Can we screw a little bit more that way? No, Thomas is the way. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas, can we screw a little bit more? <laughs> no, don't leave. I want to pet you. No. Denied. Okay, now you have to lay straight. Okay. You like it? It's very nice. I think this one works. And then it says that I gotta get my elbow. Oh, no, let's go hard. So it says I gotta get my elbow, no, and then no, I gotta no. do that. <laughs> so I do like that. Does that feel good? I don't like this one. You don't like this one? No. But it's good. No. I'm rubbing your back with my elbow. No. It's good. It's good back massage. No. <laughs> you don't like this? I do. It hurts. It says that I gotta do it from this angle. So I kind of grab her like that, and then I do her neck like that. Do you like this one? Oh, really. Why don't you like this one? Dude, this touches my neck. <laughs> Toy, come on, no, I'm trying to rub your neck. No, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to give you a massage right now. Toy to Bransky, I'm just trying to give you a massage. This is a tickle massage. It's no good. It says I have to do this for four to six minutes. So are you ready for four to six minutes of this? No, that's awful. <laughs> Okay, so I do it like this, and then I go like that. Stop, go back, I need to do this. This is my job as a professional massager. <laughs> I'm a good massager, see? Tori, do you like this? Not really. Can you pull my pants down? They look stupid. <laughs> no, I need to see your legs. Can you scoot up a little bit? So I gotta massage the legs by doing this. <laughs> Does it tickle? No, stop. I'm just trying to massage the leg. I don't like it. That's weird. Okay. No, this is how you massage the leg. It's not bad. And I'm gonna tickle her. Ah. Sorry, no, I need it. I need to massage that leg. <laughs> Okay, based on that one, I'm gonna say that that one didn't work. Tori, you're not being very cooperative. <laughs> I, I guess this is enough massages for Tori right now. So I don't have a Coke bottle right now, so instead I'm gonna use a monster can. So we just get our phone and the rubber band. Let's do that. Oh boy, I hope this doesn't break on me. Please don't break on me. Please don't break on me. Woo! It worked! Oh, you can see behind the monster can. Look, it's on selfie mode. That's what we look like. That's us! Okay, anyway, flip that around. So the whole thing with this is that it's supposed to be like a tripod. So that's kind of cool. Okay, take a picture. Woo! Take another picture. Yeah, I guess we could say this worked. Okay, 
Okay, so here's our book. Here's our meltable chocolate. Now all I need is a butterfly picture. Okay, butterfly picture. Perfect, this one looks great. Oh no, it's pretty out way too big. Okay, let's try this one. Yeah, that's way too big. In the trash. That good? I feel like even this one's a little too large. Scrap it. Maybe this will work? Okay, I'm counting on you to work this time. Oh my gosh, yeah, that looks like a good size. Okay, now that we have this bad boy, uh, let's go ahead and cut it out. Put it in like that. Yep, looks good. Now we need to melt this down. I actually got tired of uh, going to the stove downstairs because you guys always complain it's messy. So I went ahead and bought my own little portable one. Cut that right there. I've never used this before, so let's hope I can actually use it. Oh yeah, that looks fancy. Yeah, not bad. How am I supposed to use this? Um, Maybe I should read the instructions. Instructions, watch it go. Okay, danger. Using it in an enclosed space can kill you. Well, that's scary. It looks like I'm not using this. We're gonna go to the stove downstairs and you guys can deal with it, okay? So according to the the packaging apparently this is like a microwavable tray thing so we're just gonna put this in here for one minute okay let's see how this is looking oh that's hot <laughs> wow that's actually really melted i'm gonna go ahead and mix this up with a spoon or better yet a strawberry oh yeah that looks that looks really good oh my spoon <laughs> Oh yeah, that's why I call making your cake and eating it too. That's some good stuff. Okay, now we get our parchment paper. Cool, cool, that looks good. We have to transfer our chocolate into the Ziploc bag. Oh man, I hope I don't get this everywhere. That should be enough. Yeah, that's, that's looking good. Let's get this bad boy over. I think this has to be towards the middle of the book actually. That, it doesn't want to stay down. I'm gonna tape this book down because it doesn't want to do anything. It doesn't want to stay. Stay, book. Ah! Man, I'm a mess. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and cut the tip. Okay. No! Okay, this is gonna be harder than I thought. Oh my gosh. Oh no, this is so messy. No! I thought I was gonna be able to do it way nicer than this. Ah! Okay. Dang. That's awful. <laughs> I'm gonna try to do it on the other tip. Maybe I can make it a little finer. Yeah, we'll just put that off to the side. That's where that lives for now. And here's the next one. Should we put tape on this as well? I don't know. Just gonna put a little bit of tape because this is not staying down. Oh my gosh. What a mess. Ah, come on. No. I'm trying, guys. I really am trying. Okay, so I'm gonna cut the tiniest little tip on this one. We're gonna try this one more time. You got this tiny tip. Did I make the tip too tidy? <gasps> It's working! It's like I'm 3D drawing with chocolate. Honestly, they make this look so easy in the video. It still doesn't look very good, but I mean, it's better than the last one. And uh, I mean, practice makes perfect. You can do it. Ah, it's leaking out. Oh no, I'm almost done. Yeah, that definitely looks a lot better than my last one. See, this is the first one. That's the second one. And now this is all over my hand. Okay, now I need something to put underneath each side. I guess I'll do like this tape right here. No, I need you to fold in half like that. No, I got chocolate on my tape. This is bending chocolate. It'll bend parts and uh, this thing that I have created. Come on, you can do it. Get in there. Okay, now we gotta wait for it to dry. I'm gonna go wash off my hand because this looks gross. Okay, it's been uh, a sec, so I'm gonna go ahead and try and... Oh no, it's already broken. Ah! I was so close. These are very, very delicate. Maybe this one will come off more clean. Come on. <sighs> okay, oh my gosh. Ah! No, I broke it. I broke off a little wing right there. So this side uh, isn't turning out too bad. Very, very delicate. I couldn't seem to get it to hold like the V shape. Okay, yep, that's uh, that one didn't work. What about this bad boy, our first one? I mean, it is a blob, but will it stay together? I don't know. Oh my gosh, it actually worked. I think it just needed to be a little bit thicker. This one's definitely holding its shape. Chocolate, butterflies. I think if I would have done this one like that, it would have probably held its shape a little better since it's a little thicker. But I'm gonna go ahead and say that this kind of works. If I had more practice, I'm sure I could get it like 100%. Let's try it. Oh yeah, that's not bad. Man, I'm gonna gain so much weight after this video. <laughs> Okay, so I just made this actually, but I didn't turn on my microphone so you guys couldn't hear anything I was saying. Uh, here's a little time lapse of me putting it together. Here you go.
It's not very good if you're actually trying to watch a movie what? or anything like that, but it, it does kind of show a fuzzy picture. And dude, who would have ever thought? I didn't think it would work. Okay, the first step, we need a pickle jar lid. Awesome, perfect. The pickle jar lid is everything I could ever hope for. Then we get our hammer, and we get our nail. I actually have a screw because uh, I don't have any nails on me. <laughs> okay, so then we just do this. Okay, one down. Ow! Oh man, I've made all these little holes in my desk now. Oops. Okay, and this is what it looks like. I put all the holes in it. Now I have to screw this in it. Yeah, just to get it started. I'm just gonna go ahead and screw that in there. Oh! Oops. Come on, you can do it. I believe. You know what I need to do? I need to break out another drill. <gasps> well, boys, I'll see you on the other side. <laughs> Woo, we did it. Okay, now let's try and get this bad boy in there. Oh, it's working. Oh, oh no. That's not. Ah. Okay, I need to figure out a way to make this not move. I'm just gonna use some duct tape. Duct tape solves all my problems. There we go. Maybe another one right there. Put one over it just to be fun. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that'll work. Okay, now here's our box. Flip it over, punch a hole. I'm gonna put this thing in just like that. And we get the drill bit on. There we go. Okay, it looks like it's working so far. Let's go boil some sugar. I hope that this is enough. It's probably more than enough, knowing me. Add a little bit of water, just like it said. Then we just kind of mix it up. I feel like I need more sugar, so uh, whatever. Does that look okay? I can't tell. How long am I supposed to do this for? I'm just gonna let this keep kind of boiling a little bit. I'll be right back. I think I may have added a little bit too much water. I had to move my camera up because the lens is actually getting really hot from the stove. When is this gonna be done? I'm guessing maybe this is done, I'm not really sure. Well, let's go ahead and test this baby out. Just like that. Oh man, this can't go wrong at all. Here we go. I'm just gonna go ahead and, it's not coming out. Oh no. How am I supposed to do this? Ah, no. Did I not boil it enough? Ouch. What the heck did I do wrong? Ah. Oh, that's hot, 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 hot. Okay, so I think I'm supposed to do it while it's still really hot like this, so. Okay, let's try this. So here's our thing, and here's our, oh God, this is so dangerous. Okay, there's that. Okay, let's try it, ready? It's just spraying molten sugar everywhere. Am I supposed to let this cool? I'm so confused as to what I'm supposed to do. Oh, it still smells like pickle juice. That's so gross. I need to figure out like what consistency this needs to be, I think. Okay, this looks more brown, kind of like how it did in the video. And it's a little bit more syrupy. Maybe just a tiny bit longer and then we'll do this. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. Woo, it's working! Oh my God, it's actually working. Oh, it did for a second. Uh, maybe I did it a little bit too much, but it did for a second. I saw the strings. Now I just have a bunch of sugar. Oh man, <laughs> look at this huge mess that this thing's making. But it's for science, so it's okay. Well, it looks like I can't seem to get this one to work. So I guess uh, I'm gonna say that this one doesn't really work. <laughs> what was I doing wrong? I don't know. Okay, so we got our bowl, we got our cake mix, Coca-Cola, awesome, we got everything. Huh. So it really says to not add like eggs or anything. That's so weird. I would've thought you had to add eggs. Oh, don't explode, don't explode, don't explode, don't explode, please don't explode. Be good. Okay, there we go. Now we add our cake mix. How the heck am I supposed to open this thing? Uh, uh, come on. There, haha. <laughs> There's actually a bag inside, oops, gonna. Oh man, I got that everywhere. Okay, get in there. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I should have gotten a bigger bowl. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more Coca-Cola. Should I be scared? Like, is this actually gonna explode on me? Yeah, I definitely should have gotten a bigger bowl for this. Okay, now let's break out our Mr. John 5000. Okay, this is definitely not a bad idea. Did I add too much Coke now? Oh my God. Okay, I'm getting another bowl. This is exactly why I don't like doing cooking videos because I always have to do so many dishes afterwards. <gasps> I forgot to wash my hands. Oh my God, that's so gross. I'll be right back. Okay, hands are now nice and clean. Let's proceed with the transfer. Oh, I almost spilled that. That's scary. Let's put that over there. Uh, then let's mix it up. Oh, it's flying everywhere. Dude, this cake is just screaming diabetes to me. Just gonna put some more Coke in there just for a good measure. 
I gotta say, this looks like very, very fluffy cake mix to me. Also, I don't have a cake pan, so it looks like we're making cupcakes. I also don't have any cupcake lighters, but uh, Google said that I can use this, and we'll be fine. So let's hope Google's right on this one. I'm gonna go ahead and put a lot, that way I know that uh, it won't stick. Okay. Oh, that is very thick. My goodness. Here we go. Oh, I think I may have put a little bit too much oil in here. Oh my gosh, okay. Mixatron 5000, I need your help. Oh, that works so well, actually. Come on, get out of there. Something tells me that this is an awful idea. Mmm, tastes pretty good. Should I actually make the other half? Oh, why not? I need to finish mixing all this stuff then. I'm making such a mess. Okay. Spray the other side. Yep, these cupcakes are definitely gonna taste like oil. Oh my gosh. I use so much oil. Come on, get out of there. Don't be scared. Okay, it looks good. What's it say I gotta preheat the oven to? So we have pan size and bake time. Um, it doesn't say, <gasps> there's one for cupcakes. Oh my gosh, I'm not that dumb. Okay, uh, 18 to 21 minutes. I like how it was like, do all this stuff. And we're like, nah, we got Coke, it's fine. I just need to see what I'm supposed to preheat my oven to. 350 degrees. I should have known, that's a standard. Okay, 350. Now let's grab our cupcakes. Toss that in there. Well, I guess I'll see you guys in uh, 18 minutes. Oh no, I'm supposed to wait to heat up the oven first. Uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, I'll see you guys in like 20 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take these out of the oven. Oh, did I burn them? Oh man. Okay, uh, we're gonna go ahead and let these cool down a little bit and uh, we'll see if they're any good. Hey Chris, you want a cupcake? Sure. How's it taste? Not bad, actually. It doesn't have any eggs or milk in it. All right. That's literally just Coke. It, it like, doesn't taste bad. No, I like it. Pretty good, man. So, you think it works? I guess we could say it works. So first we're gonna need some soap, and then we need to cut it up. I had this idea where I would just cut soap for an hour, and that would be like the whole video. If you guys would like something like that, uh, let me know down in the comments down below. Okay, I'm gonna need something else to cut this. This ought to do it! Here we go! Oh man, maybe I have to strap it down? It's slipping off the soap! Maybe something like that? Okay, maybe that'll work. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so dangerous, kids. Don't try this at home. What else could I do to cut this? Maybe I could smash it? That seems pretty effective. It's gonna break in half. to do it. Now put some of this in here. Okay. Okay, here's our molten soap. I'm gonna try and mix it up a little bit. Yeah, that's not too bad. I didn't even need 15 minutes. Guys, I decided I'm gonna become an ASMR channel. So here you go. Okay, I'm gonna mix some of the food dye in. Where'd I put it? One drop, two drop, three drop, four. Okay, that, that should be enough. Mix that all up. Woo! It's actually changing color. Yeah. It's nice and pink now. This looks pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm doing a pretty good job with this. So I don't have one of those molds, so I'm just gonna use one of those Tums bottles. Gotta take that out. Don't need those anymore. Then we're just gonna cut this in half. Oh boy. That ought to do it. We're gonna put our molten soap in there. Just go right in there. Okay, first layer of molten soap is all done. Yeah, that looks like it'll work. Now let's make the next layer. I'm just gonna put some of this already cut soap in here. Yeah, that should work. I don't feel like going all the way downstairs to microwave this, so I'm gonna use the blowtorch method. Here we go. Oh no, it's smoking. Please don't set off my fire alarm. Hey, if I do it like this, I'm so far away. It's melting it, it's perfect. Oh no, no. Oh, oh man, I really don't want to set my fire alarm off right now. I guess I'm gonna have to microwave this. Okay, we're back and it's nice and liquid. Mix that up real good. Oh, it is steaming right now. So last time we added red, so this time I'm gonna add blue. That's so much food dye. Now mix it all up. Oh man, that does not look as good as the red. This is like a weird dark purple color. Actually, it's kind of cool. It's like turquoise almost. I'm digging this. There we go. Now we're gonna put it on our other soap, which by the way, it's still actually kind of hot. Put that on there. Boop. 
Boop, boop. This looks like it's turning out great. So I don't have poppy seeds, but I do have sea salt. So we're just gonna sprinkle some of that on there. Oh yeah, it's like a sea salt scrub or something. I don't know, dude. I'm not a beauty guru. What do I look like? Okay, now let's let this dry for a little bit. Okay, this monstrosity looks pretty cooled down. Now it's time to try and get it out of this thing. <laughs> Uh, I have to do it without ruining this. Just gonna break out my X-Acto knife. Okay, maybe like that. Uh, Woo! It's coming out! <gasps> it worked! Oh my gosh! I have colorful soap now! Guys, I can't believe this actually works! I'm gonna give it to Tori and see if she likes it. Tori, I made you some soap! Do you like it? What is it? It's soap! It's two different colors. There's pink color, and then there's blue color! And also I put sea salt on the top for exfoliation. Oh, that's nice. What's the pink from, though? It's just food dye. It's just food dyed soap. Oh, so the pink is blue soap? How? It's pink and blue soap. <laughs> that's crazy. What's I made my own soap! I mean, you took soap to make soap, though, Robbie. But I still made my own soap. <laughs> I mean, I guess so. Yeah. And that's sea salt, so you can lick it. And it'll taste really good. Yeah, but they're also. <laughs> 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 it spit on your floor. Oh, it's so gross. What would you expect after you licked soap? Anyway, that soap's for you. You're a stinky girl, so that's your soap. You're not stinky. I'm just kidding. I love you. Thank you. I love you too. Here's your soap. Woo! It works! So soap transition. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like we're starting out with some soap. Now we gotta start cutting this baby out. Ugh. Oh no, that doesn't look right. Uh, okay. I'm trying, okay guys? I really am trying. It's not really coming out as clean crystal-like as it was in the video. So now we got our soap parts. Let's throw these in this cup. Yeah, sure, I'm sure that, that works. Now to melt down our soap base. Okay, now how the heck am I supposed to put this in here? Maybe I should have opened the package before I turned on the stove. Of course not, that would have been a smart thing to do. Oh man, this is so slippery. Well, I mean, I guess it is soap. How the heck do I break this open? Oh man, oh. Uh, maybe that'll work, maybe a little bit less. Come on, break on the table. I'm getting soap all over my camera now. Well, I mean, at least it's getting clean. Oh, I found a knife. Oh my God, that is so much easier. I should have done this from the beginning. Oh, okay, we got my soap cubes. Do this again. Okay. Start throwing our soap cubes in there. I should have really read the instructions first. Remove soap from container, pull sides from the soap, air seal, invert, depress base. Okay, what? 30 seconds on high, 10 second intervals needed. Oh, in the microwave? Oh no! I wasn't supposed to boil this? I mean, it's working, so does it really matter? Is soap explosive? Caution, melted soap is hot. Well, no freaking duh! Cooking it like Jiffy Pop. I really should have grabbed something to mix this. Oh well. Okay, it's almost completely clear now. I just have a couple little chunks left in there. Ooh, everything's so slippery now. Oh, that looks pretty good. Okay, now time to pour this in our mold. Okay, here's our base. Ooh, oh no! It's boiling over, it's boiling over. Please don't melt the cup. Please don't melt the cup. I feel like it's still gonna melt the cup. There we go. <gasps> it's melting the cup. It's melting the cup. Oh no, oh no. What do I do, what do I do, what do I do? Do I just leave it? Do I just leave it? I'm gonna go get another cup. Oh my God. Here's another cup. Just in case it melts all the way through the cup. We have backups. We have backups on our backups. I put two extra cups on here. Okay, now I have soap all over my countertop. Well, I mean, at least I don't have to use soap to clean it. Uh, <laughs> okay, so uh, while I'm cleaning this, I'm gonna let this dry. I will see you guys in 40 minutes. Okay, ah! Okay, it's all cooled down. Now time to cut this bad boy open. Dude, look how much that melted the cup. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're just gonna cut this bad boy. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, that actually kind of looks cool. This part doesn't look cool, but this part looks cool. Okay, now let's cut it into a crystal shape, shall we? Ooh, there we go. Okay, wow! Okay, so I guess uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say it works! This is my new soap now. I'm going to use this to clean myself. So for this one, I'm actually gonna use a monster can because I, I don't drink alcohol. Grab our tortilla, just wrap it in there, I suppose. And then put that monster in there. Grab some lettuce. This is actually my turtle's food. <laughs> then we just gotta wrap it up like that. 
perfect. Now no one will ever suspect that I am drinking a monster. Don't mind me, I'm just eating my dry burrito. So I guess we can say this one works. Here you go, little buddy. Are you hungry? Eat the lettuce, Koopa. Eat the lettuce. Here you go. You like it? Oh, he's eating! How cute is that? Sorry, Koopa. Here you go. Eat the leaf. Eat the leaf. Oh, my turtle is so cute. Oh no, what happened? There you go, buddy. Eat the leaf. Eat it. Attack it. Grrr. <laughs> Looks pretty simple. Get our tin foil. Cut, 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 cut. And then I gotta make it big enough to fit my phone, huh? I'm gonna use this tape. Huh, maybe I should have put it inside of this thing actually. Oh no, the tin foil stuck on there. Oops. Get out of here. Okay, and like that. Dig it! Maybe like that. Yeah, that should work. I'm gonna cut it down a little bit. There we go. Now we gotta add our glue. Okay, that should be enough. Now I'm gonna let that dry. Okay, it's all dry. Uh, let's try and peel this off. Uh, maybe I should've used wax paper for this? They used tin foil in their video. Yeah, I totally just checked. They used tin foil. What the heck? This is so hard to get off. Maybe scissors? Ugh, I hate the sound of cutting tin foil. Okay, so we're left with this little piece. I gotta cut the tin foil off like this, maybe? Razor? Man, this is such a pain. Imagine like fumbling in the dark and being like, oh, one second, I'm gonna make a light diffuser with my glue gun in the dark. And then I'm gonna cut it off using this box cutter in the dark. Like why else would you want one of these? Would you just come prepared, be like, oh, light diffuser? I'm gonna need that for a, a time when I'm, it's, it's dark and I need that for a very specific situation. Oh well. Okay, put all that off to the side. Bring in our phone. Okay, now we gotta make it dark. Woo, it worked! Turn on our flashlight. Where's our flashlight at? Is there no flashlight app on this? Oh, here it is. Turn on our flashlight. Oh no, that's way too bright. I can't stand it. Here we go. It kinda looks cool, it's like a little uh, rock thing. I don't know, I'm gonna turn the rest of the lights off. And that's what it looks like. I mean, I guess it looks kinda cool. It's not bad. I guess it would be good, I guess, for like, when it's dark and you don't want it too bright. Most phones come with a setting to turn your flashlight app down. So I don't know why that would be like, such a big thing. I guess if you have an older phone. Okay, so here is my headlight. As you can see, it's pretty foggy. See, pretty freaking foggy. Now we're just gonna add our magic Coca-Cola and uh, we're gonna see what happens. Please don't explode, please don't explode, please don't explode. <gasps> don't explode, don't explode, don't explode. Okay, cool, we're good. They did it just like this. Oh my gosh, it actually looks like it's getting clearer. What? How? How? No way. That, no freaking way. What? Let's do a before. And this is after. Dude. Okay, so it looks a lot clearer to me, so I'm gonna go ahead and say it works. Okay, so first we gotta get our ice cream. I got a rainbow fat free sherbet. Then we get our scooper. That looks very dirty, but it's not actually that dirty, I promise you. Oh, oh, it's beautiful. Oh no, it's so hard to scoop this ice cream. It's garbage. What am I supposed to do with that? I'm gonna go ahead and. Yep. Oh, now I gotta use my hands to get it out. Roast. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have picked a blue cup on this blue background. So the video we watched, they used a lighter. But if you guys know this channel at all, we don't do things that simple here. That's why we're breaking out the blowtorch. Yeah, I got the bottom of this spoon nice and hot. Oh yeah. This is gonna boil the ice cream when it touches it. Okay, that looks like it's hot enough. You can actually hear the ice cream boiling off the other side right now. Okay, now let's try this. You ready? Oh, perfect. You can actually see some of the steam coming off. There we go. So much better, except the ice cream's kind of melted down. And it only lasts for one scoop. Oh, actually, it's good for that scoop, too. And now it's hard again. So I guess we could kind of say this works. I think I'm going to go ahead and give this ice cream to Tori. Got to grab her a spoon. Get back in there. Perfect. Tori Nebraska. I got some rainbow ice cream for my rainbow girl. Is it actually safe to eat? No, yeah, it's safe to eat. I just scooped it on, with the flaming spoon. Really? Is it on fire? Does it taste good? Yeah. It's hey, pretty good. It's the right proof. Okay, so for this one, we have another freaking tennis ball. Now, I don't really want this thing to hold my toothbrush, so I, I'm gonna use it a different way. But either way, I gotta put a slit in this thing. So I guess we just stab it. Ugh, come on. Ugh, this is so dangerous. That's so scary. It just bounces. What if I hit my finger? 
Oh my gosh, that's that's awful. Maybe scissors will do it? Okay, I did it. <laughs> it made a little fart sound. Come on, I need to cut you a new mouth. I think it needs to be a little bit bigger. Okay. Woo! Woo, it does it! Hello, hello. Oh, you got some in your teeth there, buddy. Let's break out our hot glue gun. Okay, I'm gonna let this thing heat up. Okay, glue gun's all heated up. Now it's time to add some googly eyes. All right, let's put water right there. Honestly, googly eyes just make everything better. Oh, glue gun fell down. Oops, Woo! I'm gonna let that dry on there for a sec. I'm gonna blow on it to try and make it dry faster. Hey, why are you blowing on me? Oh, I'm so sorry, sir, I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I'll be on my way now. No, nope, I have to drill you into my wall. Oh. A world built by imagination. Okay, are you ready? Open wide. Wait, wait, why? I just need to fit this in your mouth. What? I don't want it. Come on. What is that? It's a screw with a bottle cap because I couldn't find a washer. What? Why are you doing that? Because I'm going to screw you into my wall. What? Okay, get in there. <laughs> huh, it looks like it'll be a lot easier if I make a hole in the back first. What? <gasps> okay, flip you over and here we go. Ah! I feel like that's not the right spot. You just drilled that hole for no reason? Yep, pretty much. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh no. Here you go. Ah! That wasn't so bad. Okay, now open wide again. Are you ready? Oh. Oh. Yeah, that one wasn't so bad either, I guess. How does it look? Uh, it looks pretty bad. Oh no. Well, here you go. Okay, now we're just gonna drill you to the wall. One, two, and open wide. Oh. There we go. Okay, and uh, now you're stuck there. Oh man. Okay, so what do I do now? Okay, so your job is uh, to hold this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, uh, oops. I guess we can say it works. Woo! So here's our marker. Here's our tape. Here's our phone. Let's begin. Flip this bad boy over. We're gonna put this over the flash part, just like that. And then we're gonna write on it, just like that, using the blue marker. Cool. And we're gonna put another layer on, just like that. Write on it again, using the blue marker. We're gonna do another layer. Boom, just like that. I'm using the blue marker again. Yeah, this looks simple enough, right? Now let's try this bad boy. Okay, so under a normal black light like this one, things tend to glow. For instance, this guy. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the lights really quick. Do you see how this guy is basically getting really green and really bright because of this black light right here? This is what a black light should look like. Now I'm gonna take this away for a second. Okay, now let's try the flashlight on my phone. Yeah, I don't know about this one. He doesn't seem to have the same glowy effect as he did with the actual black light. So I don't know if this one actually actually works. I even have the brightness on my phone all the way up. Yeah, he doesn't seem to have the same brightness as the regular black light does. So, unfortunately, guys, I'm going to have to say that this doesn't work. Oh man. Okay, we grab our phone cord, grab our magic marker, wrap it around. That together real tight like that and just to be safe I'm gonna tape it on there we go just like that okay cool grab our hair dryer how long am I supposed to do this for I'm gonna let this sit stay there I wonder how long I'm supposed to do this for I have an idea there we go Okay, now I'm gonna let this cool down for a little bit and let it kind of take its shape. That should be enough time. We're gonna take this off. Okay. Let's see if this works. <gasps> Woo! Oh, it doesn't quite go all the way back. Oh. Okay, now it's basically the same cable. <laughs> if I just do this, it'll be straight again, basically. I mean, I'm gonna say that this one doesn't really work like how you think it would work. So, uh, I I'm gonna say this doesn't work. Okay, so first we need a bowl. Yeah, that ought to do. Fill it with ice. Get some cold water in there. Crap, got it all over the floor. Yeah, that should do it. Here's our water. Put that off to the side. Now it's time to paint my nails. Here we go. Oh no. It's dripping all over. Maybe I should have like mixed it a little bit. Paint, paint, paint. As always, I am doing a wonderful job on my nails. As you can see, I am the best nail painter in the world. 
Almost done. Okay, so now that we've done an awesome job on our nails, it's time to put them in the cold water and they'll instantly be dry. One, two, and... Oh, that's so cold. How long do I leave these in here for? Okay, it says for one minute. I really hope that I don't lose my fingers from frostbite from doing this. Has it even been a minute yet? I don't know. I'm sure it has. My fingers hurt. I'm taking them out. Okay, how are we doing? Are they dry? Actually, these look pretty dry to me. They feel pretty dry, actually. They're like not bad. I'm touching them and nothing's coming off. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to say this works. So apparently this eraser can clean this dirty phone. Yeah, so this phone has uh, some fingerprints on it. Let's see if uh, this uh, actually works. Hmm. Uh, oh my gosh, this is so smudgy. Look at that. There's like a weird film on this now. Oh gosh. Maybe it was something on the eraser? <laughs> Thank you to everyone who said bless you during this video. Okay, we'll try it again. Uh, yeah, I don't know, that doesn't really look much better. Okay, I'm gonna try just breathing on it. Maybe that'll make it better. I'm gonna use my beanie to clean it off. Yeah, that didn't really make it much better. I'm gonna have to say that this doesn't work. Okay, so this one looks pretty simple. All we gotta do is grab some clay. Just uh, gotta grab a big old chunk of it right there. Let's make a big one of these. Just make it big like this. There you go. Yeah, okay. And we're gonna roll into a ball. Oh man, how did I forget how to roll something into a ball? Am I doing this right? I'm pretty sure. Rolling, 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 rolling. Okay, yeah, that's looking pretty good. Not bad, not bad. It's like a little dough ball, like a little pizza dough ball. And then we just gotta put it in like that. Just do a bunch of these. Like one right there, one right there, one right there. Okay, there's another one. And another one, and another one. Is this enough? I feel like it's just gonna tighten when it's drying, so I'm kind of making them a little bit looser than they're supposed to be. I think that's how clay works, right? Yeah, that looks pretty Pretty good. I feel like I should decorate this with something. I think it needs some glitter. Okay, just get this glitter and how do I? Okay, so I need to pop this thing open. Come on. Why is it not popping open? Okay, now I need you to open. That was way harder to open than I thought it would be. Oh! I feel so dumb. It's because there was this thing on it. Oops. Okay. Uh, I got that figured out. Now put some sprinkles on it. Yeah! Okay, this is looking less cool than I thought it was going to be. Maybe I should redo this whole thing. No, you know what? That's too much work. We're fine. So now we have this. Get all this stuff out of here. Okay, and then we're gonna cut the random parts off like that. Okay, there's another one right there. I'm not sure what the point of this is, but you know, it's fine. Probably just to hold your pens. We're gonna remake these holes because I feel like these are not coming out correct. This doesn't look as cool as it did before. Wait, how did I come up with two new holes? Okay, something's wrong here. I'm remaking this thing. Get in here, other clay. Starting from square one. Got one here. Got one here. Got another one here. Here's another one. Cool, cool. And the last one. Make sure all these can escape. Okay, it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry now. This is actually air dry clay, not baking clay. Uh, it says right there, no baking. Dries hard. So I'm gonna trust your word on this Crayola. And I will see you guys when uh, this is all dry. Okay, here we go. Um, it seems to be... Pretty dry. Now, I'm gonna pull these out. Woo, they're not stuck. Okay, that kind of looks cool. Now we got a little pen holder. Okay, dude, sick. Pretty hard, pretty rock solid, if I do say so myself. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and say this works. So it looks like the first thing we need is some cardboard. Oh yeah, that should do. I need to cut a circle. Ugh. Oh man, come on. Woo! Okay, we got our circle. Don't need this. Oh, there we go. We're supposed to put a little hole in the middle. There's our hole. And it looks like we need eight slits here. So one, two, three, four, five, five six, seven, and eight. Okay, cut this weird little part off. There we go. Okay, we got eight slits now. It looks great. This is exactly how it is. Okay, I found my string. We're just gonna take some of this out right now. Let's choose uh, three of the best colors. So we got pink, we got blue, and yellow. You guys seem to really like these colors, so uh, that's what we're doing right here. Oh wait, I need eight colors. Oops. <laughs> uh, let's see, what else can we do? We could put some red in there maybe. Some orange maybe? Ooh, this blue looks pretty. Let's do this blue. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I need one more color. Seven. Okay, so seven colors. So this right here. Do -do -do -do. So one right here, one right here. Oh no. This string's all messed up. Oh man, what did I do wrong? This is gonna take forever. Okay, we got that one. So one, two, three. Now for our pink. Four. Uh, okay, we got all of our colors. Putting all these bad boys together. Okay, it's looking good. This kind of looks just like a big cluster of colors right now, but that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and straighten all these up. Put it through the 
this hole. Here we go. I don't know how long I'm supposed to do this. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it like right here. Okay, now where the heck did my tape go? Okay, let's go ahead and tape this. Boopity -boop, boop. And here we go. It's all taped. One is going here. Another one's going here. And now we're gonna put this one here. And this is gonna take so freaking long. And then we have one open right here. So apparently, we're just supposed to pull this one and then put it into the new one. And then we go over to this one and then we put it in the new one. And we just keep doing this until it's all filled up. This is gonna take so freaking long. I'm just gonna do a time lapse of me doing this because this is probably gonna take hours if I'm being totally honest. Here we go. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, it looks like I gotta pull this over a little bit. Boop, 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 boop. So this is what's looking like so far on the bottom. I'm feeling like I didn't quite do this right. Well, better keep going. Am I doing this right? Oh, I just noticed I'm supposed to do twos, not every other one. So I'm supposed to grab it from over here and put it over here. Oh no, I have to start all over. Oh. That's why this doesn't look very good. Just snip that off. Luckily, this is as far as I got before I noticed. Well, time to start all over. Okay, so every other one. So one, two, right here. One, two, right here. One, two, right here. Okay, yeah, that's definitely already starting to look better. Boop, boop, boop. Ooh, making some progress here. So close to being able to fit around my wrist. So I gotta keep going. It's getting kind of hard because these are getting kind of short. Oh no, come back. Okay, this thing's starting to fall apart. So I'm guessing this means that it's about done. Maybe like that. Aha! And we got our bracelet. Now I just gotta figure out how to tie this onto my wrist. Okay, how the heck am I gonna do this? Um, hmm. just kind of tie it on like that, maybe. I should have left more on this side, I think. Maybe like that, and then I'll try to fit my hand into there. Put this thing into there. This is a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, so I had to use my teeth, but I think I got it. Okay, that is very loose. I think it would have looked a little better if I tied this bad boy. Maybe I'll just cut it. Boop. There we go. We got ourselves a brand new bracelet. Well, I guess we can say. What? works! So here's this pan. I actually use this to melt wax and I could never get it all the way out. But maybe this toothpaste will do something. We're just gonna put it all in there. Yeah, there we go. Get a bunch of that toothpaste in there. Oh, yeah, that should be enough toothpaste. I'm gonna go ahead and scrub it. Rinse it out. Oh my freaking gosh. So guys, it looks like it actually works. <laughs> Wow! There's like no more wax in there. I've been trying to get that wax out for months. Well, not months, probably about a month. Well, anyway, I guess we can say this works! It looks like it's time to have some fun with some tennis balls. Oh, there's a little pop top. Whoa, that was scary. <laughs> oh, that's so dangerous. Why would you have that on there? Perfect! We got so many balls! <laughs> I got this cool tube, I can keep them in later! I don't really need it right now though, so we're also gonna need some tape, get our balls, and then we just tape these bad boys together. So we gotta tape these balls together, just like that. Really gotta get in there with these balls. Go around like that. Oh my gosh, this is way harder than I thought it would be. Okay. Yeah, that looks like it'll hold it together. Now I got a perfect back massager, let's try this bad boy out! Oh, okay, yeah, let's try to do some yoga, boys. Let me put our thing right here. I look so long. Okay, now I have to roll on it like like that. Oh yeah, that feels great. Ah, ah. It's all wrapped up in my shirt. Ah. <laughs> my shirt's choking me. That doesn't work out. What am I doing wrong? Okay, oh, ow, this hurts. Ow, ow, ow. Oh. I don't like this at all. Oh, okay. uh, I'll try it one more time for old time's sake, but so far, I'm not really liking this. Center of my spine, and then I'm just gonna, like a crab walk, but I'm rolling on my back. Yeah, oh, oh! Oh my gosh. Yeah, I can feel the knots popping. Are not supposed to pop. It's wrapped up in my shirt again. So my verdict is, I don't think that this works very well. <laughs> I'm gonna have to say that this failed! It bounces though. Okay, so here's our bubble wrap. We don't really need this whole thing, so uh, let's go ahead and cut this down a little bit. Yeah, that ought to do it. I put it on this book. I hope I don't regret this later. We get our chocolate and just kind of put it on there. I feel like I'm definitely doing this a little too thick. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here we go. Spreading, spreading, spreading. Dude, this is gonna look so weird. I hope this actually works, that I'm just kind of wasting all this chocolate. I'm sure it'll work. Five Minute Crafts has never lied to me before. Let me put a little bit more on there. Okay, that should be good. Uh, let's throw this in the freezer. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, here we go. Dedicated just to this crap. Let's turn this up a little bit. Yeah, that ought to freeze in no time. I'll see you in a sec. Goodbye. Okay, it looks like we're all good to go. Okay. Doesn't look too bad. Let's remove the book. Now I have to try and take it off of the bubble wrap without breaking it. Uh, this is gonna be the hard part, I think. Or it might be super simple, I don't know. Oh yeah, no, that's definitely coming out really easily. Whoa! It looks like a honeycomb or something. Dude, that is actually really cool. Break that off. Dude, how neat is that? Whoa! Okay, so I guess we can say this works! Still tastes like normal chocolate, though. <laughs> Okay, so here's the patch I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here on my backpack. Right here, maybe? That's gonna cover it, though. How about we put it right here? That looks like a good spot. I'm just gonna flip this over. Yeah, right there. Then we get our hair straightener. I went ahead and set it to 430 degrees. That's how hot it goes. Now, uh, let's try it. I feel like it's just gonna end up burning the patch, personally, but I could be very wrong. Okay, here we go. I think it might actually be working. It seems to be staying on on this side. Is it working? I don't know. Gonna hold that down nice and tight. Make sure it's straight. Oh, I mean, it's very hot, but it doesn't look like it's staying on so far. Maybe I gotta get it hotter. Do I, am I supposed to let it dry afterwards? Oh, that's very hot. I'm gonna go ahead and use this oven safe glove to kind of help hold it down a little bit. Does the instructions say to let it cool down? It kind of looked like it just like made it good afterwards. Ow, frick, my finger. Wow, that seems pretty good. I'm just gonna go ahead and let that cool down and we'll see if it works. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes and this is looking like it's on there pretty good actually. Like it feels like it was almost sewn on. If I really wanted to, I could completely pull it off, but I feel like it's it's pretty much as good as the patch is gonna be. This is really good. So I guess we'll have to say this works. I actually tried this one before, but it didn't work because the glue gun that I had, the nozzle was too small. But guess what, guys? Now, I have an even bigger glue gun. And the nozzle is nice and big, so the string can actually fit through. First things first, we put down the parchment paper. Then we get our foam. Whoop, good, good. Then we fit it to size. Take it like that. Come on. This parchment paper is just a little too good because tape just never wants to stick to it. There we go, just like that. Looks good. Now for the part I got hung up on last time. Move that off to the side, get our bigger glue gun. Up the tip of this one a little bit, and we're gonna put the string. Yeah, I have a good feeling about it this time. I'm gonna clip off some of the extra string right there. Now time to load this baby. Ooh, something's coming out already. Now I'm gonna do this until some string comes out. You got this glue gun. It's not coming out yet. Is it gonna do it? Okay, come on. Look how big of a pool I've made. It's still not coming out. I'm trying, guys. Come on, string. Oh, oh the string's pulling. Is it coming out? Hmm, I have another idea. I'm gonna try drilling it. It seems to have cracked it a little bit, but uh, I don't think that's a big deal. It went all the way through. Ugh, pulling out the old one. Okay, now I have to try and get this through here. Oh, uh, let's see, what can I do? Maybe I could just get the drill and then just uh, do this. Push it through. Ugh, that didn't work. Mm. Oh man, what else can I do? Maybe if I snip it in half, and then I get the zip tie, and then I just kind of push it through. Nope. Need this little screwdriver. Okay, get in there, come on. It just doesn't want to go through. Mm. This is so hard. Maybe if I do this, it'll grab it. Whoa, it actually worked. Okay, snip that. Let's cover the tip in glue. Ouch. Okay, now let's try this again. I really hope that this works. Oh my gosh, I finally burned myself with a new glue gun. I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna cut it like that. Maybe with the string being centered, that'll help. I don't know. Okay, I let this cool for a little bit. Now I'm gonna cut this so that it's exactly in the middle. Yeah, that looks like it's in the center. Load that in there. Okay, let's hope this works. How are we doing? It's coming out yet? Is it gonna do it? I don't think it's gonna do it. Oh, come on. Dude, I've gone through so much glue. I'm gonna load another one in there. Dude, I am going through so much glue and there's no string coming out. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. Why isn't the string coming out? Oh, 
No, oh, it got a little harder. Is it gonna work? Is the string coming out? I think it might be getting clogged. Oh, I pulled the string out, and now it's all coming out. Ow, just clamp my finger. Okay, load even more glue in there. Okay, so I bought an industrial glue gun, and this still didn't work. The tip is pretty wide, and I don't know why this isn't working. So I'm gonna have to say that this whole thing just doesn't work. Also, I just wanna point out, look how much glue I wasted. Oh my gosh, that's like four glue sticks right there. Okay, so let's get our toothpaste. Now we need to get rid of this cap, cause oh no, I lost my cap. I don't need that anymore. Then we're gonna get our industrial glue gun. And we're just gonna put it all over this bad boy. No big deal, see? Yeah. This looks like it's gonna be a great cap. I really hope this doesn't damage the toothpaste, cause I kinda need this for the rest of the video. Oh no, I accidentally squeezed out the toothpaste. Oh man. Okay, so we got it all over there. Oh, it's dripping. Oh no. We're gonna let this cool down a little bit, and uh, I will see you guys in a bit. Okay, that looks like it's been cooled. Uh, let's try and take it off. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh. Did it melt onto it? Oh no. This is not looking too good. Yeah. Oh shoot. Oh. I think I may have just ruined this tube of toothpaste. Okay, yeah, that's not looking too good. Did I do this right? It looks like I did. Well, there's our cap. Um, it doesn't look like it's gonna hold anything in the tube, see? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that didn't work at all. So I guess we can say that this doesn't work. Oh well. Okay, so we got our Pringles can. All we need really is the top though, so. Perfect. Uh, don't need these anymore. I already know, so many of you guys are probably mad at me for doing that. Let's see how good these chips still are. Oh, that does not sound good at all. Yep, they're all broken. Oh, actually, I mean, some are broken. I mean, they still taste fine. Okay, so anyway, I wasn't sure what size mug to grab, so I grabbed every single mug in my house. So let's just start testing all these. Uh, no, mm, uh-uh. Oh, no! That's a no-go. This one I already know is not gonna work. <laughs> What about this one? Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh. no, no. Okay, you're the last hope. It doesn't fit. What about this one? Nope. Okay, so out of all these mugs, this fits none of them. Okay, so I feel like this one's actually kind of wasteful, but uh, here's our fire pit. Let's set a fire, boys. <laughs> now we gotta set the fire. Now we light it. Is it gonna light? Why isn't it lighting? Is this water or something? Is it, isn't there supposed to be a big dramatic like boom? Oh wow, actually yeah, that is getting pretty big. We better put it out! Oh, oh. oh man, okay. Ah. Okay guys, we better put it out! Oh. That got all over me. Ah. Okay, that shouldn't be burning. I mean it put out the fire, so I guess we can say it works! This one looks simple. Ooh, got some chocolate on me. <laughs> okay, this one looks simple. All I need is some mint leaves. But first I'm gonna put this parchment paper down. Here's our mint leaves. Take some of these out. Looks like a decent sized one right there. So let's put that one there. One mint leaf. Oh man, this smells really good actually. Here's another mint leaf. There's another one. And another. Yeah, that ought to do it. Now let's uh, start putting some chocolate on these bad boys. One down. Ah, come on, you can do it. Oh my gosh. There's so much chocolate on here. So much chocolate everywhere. Oh, this one's not open. I'm sure it'll still work. Though. At least I hope. Oh, that's like a perfect glob. Last one. And yeah, yeah, this looks great. Now I'm gonna throw these bad boys in the freezer. Oh god, I can't open this thing. Okay, in you go. And I'll see you boys later. Yeah, these are looking pretty solid. Okay, these don't look like they turned out too bad. Now I gotta try and take them off the leaf without breaking it. Wow, that is so easy. That looks kind of cool, actually. Some of the mint is stuck inside the chocolate, but I mean, there's nothing wrong with eating some mint with some chocolate. That one's not bad. Ooh, they're gonna come off this one. Oh, that comes right off. Look how cool that looks. That's so neat, actually. Whoa! Oh my gosh. Can you see that? Dude, you can see all the, like, uh, little things in the leaf and stuff. That's actually really neat. So we got two for two. They're a little funky, but that's fine. Third one. Oh, that one didn't turn out too bad either. Wow, dude, that's kind of cool. Here's another one. This was the funky leaf one. That one kind of turned out okay. And here's our last two. Dude, that looks so neat. Not bad. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that this works. Okay, so first off, let's get some parchment paper up in here. 
There we go. We don't need this hot glue sticking to everything. There we go. Yeah, that should be more than enough. Now we get our fork and kind of just dip it in there. Um, I think we might have a little bit too much. Yeah, okay, let's start all over. Okay, so just barely the tip. Just the tip. And that should be good, uh, I think. These little pieces uh, are extremely long, so I'm just gonna go ahead and let these um, dry for a little bit. Maybe blow on them. <sighs> Pull these bad boys off. Okay, I don't need this anymore. Now we're gonna go ahead and get my girlfriend's, pa I mean my palette because I'm the beauty guru here and I know what I'm doing. Uh, and then we're gonna do this. Get it all, uh, all over there. Oh shoot, am I ruining this? I feel so bad right now. I feel like I'm messing this up. Yeah, so just a little bit of makeup. Okay, uh, looks good. Let's put this bad boy on our face. Okay, time to give myself some freckles. Here we go. Oh gosh, these do not look good. Kind of scary. I'm just kind of poking myself in the face with this fork. Yeah, I'm not really digging how this looks at all. Maybe that'll help. Dude, what the heck is up with these freckles? These freckles don't look very good. <laughs> Do I look like a ginger kid yet? Oh my gosh, look at this. I don't know if I have enough freckles, so I'm gonna keep reapplying these. Well, I'm gonna have to say this looks pretty good. I look like I have real freckles. I can't tell the difference between real freckles and these at all. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have freckles for the rest of the video. <laughs> I guess we could say that this uh, kind of works, I, I, I guess. It works, but it doesn't look very good. <laughs> Okay, so here's our light. Now we gotta break it. This is a very strong light bulb. Holy crap. It actually bent the freaking metal before it broke the light bulb. Oh my gosh. Okay, one, two. How is this light bulb so freaking strong? What the heck? One, two. This is a very impressive light bulb. I think it might be because it's like an industrial bulb and it's meant for really high and low temperatures. But it was the only freaking bulb I had. Maybe if we break out the old knife. One, two, and... Holy crud. Oh my gosh, it's actually bending the tip of my knife. This is an impenetrable light bulb. Okay, I'm just really gonna go for it. One, two. Oh my gosh. How? I did not think it would be this hard to destroy a light bulb. One, two, and... Oh no, I broke in my light bulb. It's stuck in there. What am I supposed to do? I'm gonna get all these glass bits out because that's scary as heck. Look at that. Look how bent that is. That's how bent I had to make it just to get this freaking thing out. Okay, so now we have a problem. We can't get this out by pulling or twisting it. So what do we do? We get a bottle. And then we just kind of light this on fire. Heat it up real good. Okay, then we put that in there. Let that cool a little bit. It's even twisting out already. Wow. That's cool. I mean, it doesn't stick to it like I thought it would, but it actually made it come out. Wow. So I guess we can say it works. Now I have glass all over my desk. Oh my gosh. Gotta clean this up. So I feel like I've tried this before, but you know what? Let's give it another go. So let's go ahead and write something right here. Here's our regular eraser. Not very good. Let's try a different one. It's looking like it didn't erase very well, even with the regular eraser. Now let's try the rubber band. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap that around. Wrapping, 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 wrapping. Now let's give this a go, shall we? Oh man, that is making it so much like messier. Okay, yeah, that's very messy. It's uh, not looking too great. Does this pencil just not like to get erased or something? And here you have it. It looks like it did uh, a worse of a job than it did the actual eraser. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one doesn't really work that great. It kind of works, but it doesn't really work. So for this one, I'm actually wearing makeup on my nose. So uh, let's go ahead and wipe that off really quick. So this is my makeuped up nose. Uh, you know, very porcelain-like, very clear, very nice looking. And now that's all about to change, guys. Oh man, look how dirty that is. Let's keep going. Okay, and this is it. This is my nose. It's kind of red. A lot of pores in it, as you can see. They're all very clogged, kind of gross. But you know what? That's my nose. So that's how it is. Yep, there it is. That's my scar that I got when I was five years old, and that's why I always look this way. Anyway, let's break out our toothbrush. This looks pretty familiar, right? Oh, the good times that we've had with this bad boy. This should be fine. Scrub it. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Perfect. Looking great, as always. This stuff does get a little bit dirty, I will admit. I think it's cleaning it. Get all up in there. Until next time, my sweet.
sweet. So we got our toothbrush. We got our toothpaste. Look at this bad boy. On my nose. Uh, uh, yeah. Getting right in there with that toothpaste. Right in there. It's getting really deep. Not too deep. Yeah, that's looking, uh, that's looking pretty good. I wonder how long I'm actually supposed to do this for. It's actually kind of starting to hurt. Probably until my nose just looks better. But what if it never looks better? Does that mean I just keep going down until my nose is messed up? Okay, I'm just gonna wipe some of this off and uh, we'll see if it works. So I got all the toothpaste off and my nose. My nose looks about the same. I feel like there's no help for my nose. My nose is pretty bad. Like, look at all these pores. So uh, I'm gonna have to use my expert beauty advice and say that this one doesn't work. Okay, so here's our gum. Take this bad boy out. Don't need that. Don't need that. Now, what shape am I supposed to make this into? Like a weird triangle shape, I guess? I guess like that. I'm not really sure. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of the same shape as the one that they made. We get our glove. Here's our little battery. So here's one on this side. So I'll do one on this side. This is kind of harder to do than I thought. So one like that. Pull this one up here. Is it gonna work? Nope. Maybe if I do it like this. God, this is so hard. Why is this so much harder than I thought it would be? <laughs> Okay, so here's some tape. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and tape that on there. That way I'm not touching it. And then I'm gonna put it on this side. Let's see if it works. Uh, nothing's happening. It does feel like it's getting kind of hot though. Okay, let's try it with a bigger battery. Okay, so on this side, right here, and then right here. Is it gonna work? I'm kind of scared. <gasps> It's starting to smoke. Oh my gosh, it's actually smoking. Why didn't it work? What the heck? Is it gonna light on fire? Okay, yeah, we're just gonna start from square one. Here's the thing, do that, just like that. I think that the whole reason that this works is because it has such a small, like, touching point. Maybe this will work better. I don't know. Tape this onto here. Okay, here we go. It's starting to smoke. It's starting to smoke. Oh my gosh, it's smoking. I think it might have like melted on or something. It's so weird. Now it's not working. Come on. Is it gonna light on fire? Oh, oh. <gasps> it lit on fire. It actually worked. Oh my gosh. What? It actually lit on fire. You guys saw that, right? You guys had to have seen that. What the heck? Oh my gosh. So I guess we can say this one worked. Okay, so this seems like a really interesting one. We got our Sharpie, we got our lighter. <laughs> Let's go ahead and light this on fire and see if it stays. Holy crap, it's actually working. How? It's kind of melting the actual Sharpie part though, uh, which is a little scary. Dude, that's actually really cool how it's staying lit like that. As you can see though, it is melting the tip. I'm gonna go ahead and put this out. Oh man. And apparently I can still write with this, so let's try it. Okay, here we go. Oh no, that is not a good sign. Okay. Oh, whoo, that is very crispy. Uh, it's not looking very good, guys. I think it might have messed up the Sharpie really bad. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good Sharpie. So I guess this one kind of works. It like half works. The first part worked, but the second part didn't work. So I guess I'm gonna say it kind of worked. I don't know. <laughs> So I'm actually running out of chocolate to use, so I'm gonna go ahead and try and use this white chocolate. Ugh. Oh, my finger, ouch! Okay, put that in there. I'm sure that'll work. Man, why do I always do this to my spoon? Okay, now I throw this in the microwave. I'm sure it microwaves the same way that this chocolate does. Or I could be horribly wrong, who knows? Okay, good luck. I'm gonna go ahead and take this. I feel like that's not a good thing you're supposed to leave in the microwave. Put it on my disgusting stove top. And I'll see you boys in one minute. Oh, got chocolate on my microwave. <laughs> okay, how you guys turn out? <gasps> it actually melted properly, cool. I also gotta grab some sprinkles. Oh man, this looks so delicious. Okay, so here are our balloons. I'm gonna go ahead and blow one of these up. Yeah, that looks uh, that looks like it's a good size. Hi, that. Cool. Bring this over. Mix that up one more time. Oh man, that looks so good. That's like marbled chocolate. Now we're just gonna cover the balloon in chocolate. Oh my gosh, yes. What the heck even, dude? Oh, this is gonna be so delicious. I just have to make sure that I do it evenly. Oh gosh. It's okay, get on there. Oh no, this is getting everywhere. <laughs> No, stay on. Oh my gosh, this is so heavy. It's all this chocolate covering the balloon. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be so good. Okay, now put this off to the side. I'm gonna get some parchment paper. Put that right there. I need a flat surface to put it on, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Get some more parchment paper. <gasps> no, it's stuck to the balloon. I always make such a mess. Oh my gosh. This looks so delicious. Oh, then I gotta put sprinkles on it. So let's try and put the, oh, frick. Just put sprinkles all over it. Uh, next sprinkles. Here's some rainbow ones. Oh god, they're everywhere. 
Oh, I got it on my camera. Okay, cool. Yeah, that looks good. Dude, this looks amazing. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and put this in our freezer. I have to make sure I don't drop it. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is scary. I have to do a balancing act to get it all the way down there. Okay, now join your family. Okay, be good now. Okay, let's have a peek. Whoa. It looks like an apple, like a candy apple. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on this chilled plate that I have. I'll clean that up later. My goodness, this is a piece of art, I tell you what. Okay, yeah, this is gonna take a little bit of patience to come off. I'm trying really hard not to break this thing. Come on. And then if I touch it, the chocolate gets a little bit hotter and then it becomes more brittle. So I can barely even touch it. Oh my gosh, this is so scary. <gasps> no, I just made a hole in the bottom. Dang it. I'm so close. Okay, it's almost all out. Come on. No. Okay, it's almost all out. Uh -huh. No! Okay, almost there. How'd they get the balloon to not stick? Okay, it's a little scary that there's some rubber in here now, but, um, you know, no big deal. What am I gonna do? I need to patch that or something. Yeah, it turned out pretty good, um, you know, except for this hole right here. You know what I'm gonna do? I'll be right back. Okay, let's add some ice cream. Oh, man. Rainbow sherbet! Oh man, I'm gonna need so much ice cream to fill this. Okay, this ice cream is really hot, so I'm gonna go ahead and break out the blowtorch. Oh, that's a little better. That should be enough ice cream. Next, I'm gonna break out some whipped cream. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh man, that looks so good. Then we're gonna add our little leaf thing. This one kind of is a fail, but that's fine. Let me get some of our weird uh, bubble wrap chocolate. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. That looks pretty good, actually. If you guys would eat this, tell me down in the comments down below. Next, I need to add a spoon. Boop and boop. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. Tori Dabransky. I have a present for you. You want some? Oh, that is beautiful, Robbie. Oh my goodness. You want some? Yeah, I'm so proud. Oh. I mean, there's whipped cream on it, so it's a little gross. I know, but there's so much chocolate everywhere. Is it just filled with whipped cream? Oh no, there's ice cream in there too. Okay, I was like, oh no. Are you joking? Did you really put whipped cream on rainbow sherbet ice cream, <laughs> Robbie? Out of all the like combinations, you chose that one? I mean, this has a little bit of the leaf left in it. Does that just mean it's gonna be minty? Are the leaves actually still in this, Robbie? No, there is no. Okay, that's good. It's good? Yeah. I'm actually really surprised. I mean, I do not approve of the whipped cream and ice cream combo, but like this bit's cool. Whoa! Oh, oh no, you have a little. I know, I have a little hole. Just nurse it. Yes, nurse. Nurse the ice cream. Is good? I was expecting it to be mint, but it's, it's I'm, they're good. <laughs> I really like the also little balloon bits. Oh, you gotta be careful for those. Those garnishes. are kind of scattered all inside of that thing. Can you clean it out first? Yeah. I did, I tried. Okay, well, I approve. This is very much, I wish I had different ice cream, but I approve. So you think it works? It looks like you have ice cream on your lips. Oh, I have, it's chocolate. Oh. Uh, Aw, it's there forever. Well, I'm gonna have to say it works! I have to destroy this somehow. I have to destroy it? Don't you want to eat it? Okay, I'm gonna destroy it, ready? No, not in my room, no, no. I'm gonna eat it, oh, no. I got it. Wait, wait, let me put it in your face. No, yeah. there's spoons in there. I'll take the spoons out. Oh, oh no, oh, oh. No, oh, I can't breathe, it's in my nose. <laughs> Did it work? Oh, it's so good. Let drop a little bit. <laughs> Mmm, this is some good stuff. Well, I'm glad you enjoy it. No, no, take it back. You, uh, I don't you want enjoy it. your sleep. I don't want it. I'll see you no, later. No, here Goodbye. You <laughs>sure are a wonder, aren't they? Honestly, what can't they do? See this guy? This guy's uh, this guy's broken right here. So we're just gonna put that through, and uh, boom! We got ourselves a new thing. Except it slips right out. So what am I supposed to do with that? Uh, maybe get some pliers. Okay, come back. Got this. Ha ha! Woo! We now have a new zipper. So we're just gonna snip the tip. Round that off a little bit. Yeah, I definitely don't feel like I'm gonna cut myself on this at all. We have to do the zip test. So here's our bowl, here's our baking soda. Put that in there. Yeah, that looks like it'll be enough. Can we put some warm water in there? Ooh, I think I might have put a little too much. Is that up? Yep, I definitely put too much. I'm just gonna put a little bit more baking soda. Because, you know, you can always fix things by adding other things to things to fix the things. That's not always how it works. But in this case, I feel like we got it up to the correct ratio. Wow, this looks like snow. It's kind of cool. This is so neat. 
Oh yeah. So now it's time to put the stuff on my face. I'm actually wearing makeup right now so that I don't look as tired. But if you look at it, I have quite a few pores that are kind of just like clogged and stuff. This is what my nose looks like normally. It's very clogged, very pory. So this is before. And I'm even wearing makeup too, so that's really bad. So let's go ahead and put this on. Oh my god. How did they get this to stick on their face? Uh <laughs> What the heck even? Okay, come on. I believe you could stay on there. Okay, not bad. You got this stuff. I'm getting this everywhere. Okay, now stay on there. Ah, fell off. Come on. Okay, it looks good. How long am I supposed to leave this on for? And then I get a toothbrush and I just kind of scrub it. Oh, just lightly scrub it. Don't want to agitate my skin. Oh yeah, my nose definitely feels way cleaner. Oh man, maybe uh, dab some more of that on there. Oh yeah. This is gonna take off all my makeup. <laughs> I feel like my face is gonna look worse. Oh man, yep, oh yeah. Get all in there. Okay, I'm gonna go wash my face off now and uh, I'll show you guys the results. <laughs> Okay, uh, and here we are. Wow, my face is really red. So as you can see, it took off all my makeup, so it's probably not a very good comparison. But I mean, how are my pores looking? Skin's very red. It doesn't look like it really did all that much, if I'm being totally honest. Yeah, this is kind of how my skin looked before. Oh my gosh. Yep, there's my scar. That's a scar that I got when I was like five years old. Oh man. So I'm gonna say that this one doesn't really work that great for me. It might work for someone else, but it didn't work very well for me. <laughs> Here are our matches. Take some of these bad boys out. Put that away for later. They painted theirs a bunch of different fun colors, so I'm gonna do the same. Here's green, here's blue. Oh no, it blends in with the background. What should I do? And here's pink. And you know what? We're just gonna ditch these two guys because I don't wanna bother with them. I'm gonna go fill our bowl up with water. Okay, here's our water. Apparently we can just throw these in because they did it right after they painted them. Man, I really hope that this uh, doesn't cause them to not work. So we take these bad boys out and we just go ahead and do this. What's that? It's not working! Maybe this one? <gasps> this one actually worked! Oh my god! Guys! I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works! But only with green nail polish. You have to remember that one. <laughs> Okay, so here's our cup. First thing we're gonna put in detergent. Just a little bit of that. Okay, next, I'm actually gonna go ahead and mix some water in this bowl. Now, just a little bit of food coloring so we can tell the difference between uh, the detergent and the actual water. Mix, mix, mix. Looks good. Put that there. So far, it doesn't look like it's really uh, changing. It just kind of turned into one black mass. I'll be right back. Here's our vegetable oil. Put that in there. Okay, that's kind of separating. I don't know if you can see that or not. I don't drink alcohol, so I can't add alcohol to this, but I have baby oil, so I'm gonna add some of that. And it looks like we have some weird looking concoction. I'm gonna mix it up. This is probably a bad idea. Okay, let's see how long that takes to separate or if it will ever separate. I don't know. I'm just gonna leave this here for a sec. Okay, so I'm looking at it. It looks like there is a little bit of separation. Uh, I think we have to wait just a little bit longer. I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit for a little bit longer and uh, see if all this separates. I really hope it does. Otherwise, this was kind of a bit of a waste of time. But we'll see. I'll see you in a sec, guys. Okay, it's been five minutes. How are we looking? Yep, uh, exactly how I thought. It didn't work at all. So I guess this whole thing's a lie, guys, and it doesn't work. <laughs> Okay, so I've actually done this one before, but I'm pretty sure I used the wrong kind of chocolate. So this time, we're gonna go ahead and use multiple chocolate. Um, this is actually baking chocolate, as it says right there. I I'm pretty confident it's actually gonna work this time. Okay, so we got our boiling water. Let's put the pan inside so we don't actually burn the chocolate. Then we just go ahead and drop some of this chocolate in there. This chocolate was actually kinda harder to break than I thought. Uh, look at that. I'm actually struggling to do this. It's like, boom! These are such big pieces of chocolate. Okay, now we're just gonna go ahead and wait for these to melt a little bit. Put another one in there for just for safety. There you go. Wow, look how freaking glorious this looks. This looks so good. Oh my gosh. Okay, and this looks like it's fully melted and uh, all good to go. As you can tell by my voice not being in sync, uh, I had problems with the microphone still. So uh, here's me saying a bunch of words. I forgot what I said. I walked away from the camera. And now the Coke bottle's all by itself. 
Yay. Okay, so here's me uh, putting the chocolate in the Coke bottle. Looks like it's going in pretty easily. Not bad, there's a lot of chocolate there. And we're gonna go ahead and mix it all up in the bottle, um, make sure it hits all the surfaces. And it's, uh, it, it, it looks like it's, it's going pretty evenly. It kind of scared me how the chocolate had different colors all around it. It kind of marbled a little bit, but I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. I ended up just kind of moving the chocolate around uh, for like 10 minutes uh, because I wanted to make sure that it was spread evenly and it didn't just have a giant clump of chocolate in the middle. Okay, and uh, this is right where I put it in the fridge. So I will see you guys in about an hour. Okay, and uh, the audio is back. Man, I feel so dumb for not plugging my microphone in all the way. Oh my God. Okay, so it's nice and frozen. Now time to cut this baby out. Here we go. Maybe if I open the cap first. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's definitely solid chocolate. Okay, now cut it like this. Keep going. Is that gonna cut it out? It's not coming out. I believe in you, chocolate. You can escape. Come on, keep going. Come on, be free. I'm trying really hard not to break the chocolate at all. I'm pretty sure it's already way better than Tori's. No offense to Tori. I know she can hear me right now. Oh, it came off! Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's not bad so far. It's almost out. You can do it. Please don't break on me. Please don't break on me. And... We got it! It is free! I have chocolate all over my hands now, but it's fine. It is good. Oh my gosh. Let's put the little cap on that. <laughs> it looks a little funny with the cap on, but it looks like it's actually working. I put the label on. Aha! I need some tape. Okay, tape this on. Oh my gosh. I did it! I got a freaking Coke bottle made out of chocolate! I did it! I don't think it's hollow though. Uh, that might be a big problem. So we're just gonna cut the tip off and see if that will fix anything. Oh, sick! It's actually hollow inside. That looks a little, uh, nope, it still looks weird. <laughs> mm, not bad, some good chocolate. I'm gonna go ahead and try and put some of these M&Ms in there. Okay, here we go. Oh, I'm gonna have to do one at a time. Oh no. These M&Ms actually say Robbie Epic Sauce and Tori on them. Thank you so much to the person who gave these to me. You know who you are. Okay, it's gonna take a while to put them in one at a time, but I'm sure it'll be worth it. Oh man. Dude, they are so, this is gonna take so long. Okay guys, now it's time to show Tori. <laughs> Tori, come check out this thing that I did that you couldn't do. I'm such a good boyfriend, I know. Tori Bransky. Tori Bransky. Look at what I did. You actually did it right? I did it, I actually made it. Oh my God, that's so cool. It turned out so good. I know, who would have thought actually using the proper chocolate for it? <laughs> It turned out so nice. Aww. Isn't that so cool? That's so cool. You actually filled it with all. The and I filled it with little Evan up. You even filled it with it. Do you want to break it open? Oh my god. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna film you break it. I'm open. sorry. I, I don't. I really don't want to break it open though. It looks so cool. How about I give you a little hammer? Here you go to break it open. Oh, oh god. <laughs> Okay, that's, that's okay, Tori. Okay, it's dead, Tori. Tori, it's dead. Stop! You're, ki you, you're killing him. You're killing him. He's already dead. This is really fun, though. I really like it. You like my shirt? Hey, that's my shirt. You guys can buy that the shirt down in the description down below if you guys really want one. By the way, it's good chocolate. No, yeah, it's pretty good. I approve. So guys, you can say it works. <laughs> Okay, so this one seems pretty simple, pretty subtle. Unfortunately, I don't have a normal kind of door where it just locks and then it does that. What is up with this echo? Oh my god. Hello! I'm in a cave! Someone help me! Okay guys, please ignore that echo. This is freaking crazy. Maybe if I open this door? Anyway, that's what my door does. It automatically closes. So I guess what we'll try and do is see if it'll stop it from closing. So here are rubber bands. Here's a nice thick and big one. Put it over like this. And we're gonna cross it over. Like that. And then, I don't really know how I'm gonna do this part. Maybe like that. Oh, I think it might be stopping it. Oh, it got stuck. I think it might actually be working. Is it freaking working? Can I close the door still? Oh, oh my gosh, it actually works. So we'll try it again. I just closed the lock. Close that. Now we just gotta wait for it to try and close again. It usually does it within 30 seconds. Oh. Did it close? Oh. We're able to open the door. It actually works. What? So I guess we can say it works. Wait.
So the first thing we're gonna need are some bowls. Take the little one out. Then we're gonna get an army mat. Yeah, there we go. Just kind of line them all nice. This whole thing's a little bit morbid if you really think about it, but who am I to critique the master genius that is five minute crafts? Gotta get some more. Just gotta make sure that this lines up. Oh, there's none on the bottom now. Uh-oh, maybe that'll do it. I feel like this is gonna be such a big waste of army men. Did anyone else play with these when they were a kid? I know that I used to just like shoot them with my slingshot. I just have to make it bowl-like. Guys, come on, think as one, think as a bowl. I think I might have done this wrong. Okay, I'm sorry though. So they lined it with the bottom like that. Now I'm supposed to just fill in all the cracks. Dude, this is so morbid. <laughs> yeah, this looks good. Now it's time to make my whole house smell like burnt plastic. Okay, let's preset the oven. They didn't tell us an exact temperature, so I'm just gonna do the magic number, 350. Okay, pop this bad boy into the oven. You be good. How the heck am I supposed to know what it's done when my whole house smells like plastic? Okay, so it's been about two minutes and I'm kind of scared that this is gonna burn down my house. Are you melted yet? Nope. These guys aren't melting, so I'm gonna go ahead and bump it up to 450. Okay, I think we should be good. Go ahead and take these guys out. Please don't hurt my hand. Oh my gosh, yeah, those are definitely melted. I'm gonna go ahead and let these sit for a while and cool down. That way they don't burn me when I touch them. Oh, see you guys in a sec. Okay, so I let these guys cool for a little bit and it looks like they didn't really stick. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put them in the oven a little bit longer. Maybe we'll try like 500. I don't know, maybe that'll work. Like I said, let's hope I don't burn my house down. Okay, last try. Let's take these bad boys out. They started smoking earlier and I was like, that's probably not good. Ugh. Once again, we're gonna let these bad boys cool and maybe uh, it'll work this time. I don't know. That's my alarm telling me it's done. And I took it out because I started smelling smoke and I saw smoke and I was like, nope, not doing that. Stop! Dang it! Thank you. Okay, I will return with these guys cool. So I let this guy cool down a little bit. Let's see if it actually works. Mind you, this was kind of smoking when I took it out. Oh man. Oh, okay. <laughs> Nope, uh, that's not good. There are some chunks that actually, no, these all just kind of break apart really easily. Dang, why did these break apart so easy? I guess these guys kind of melted together. Maybe if I melted them together longer, but I was just scared that I just didn't want to burn down my house. I don't know, I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. It's also very impractical. I pretty much just wasted a whole bowl. Well, I guess not that bad. Okay, so now we're just gonna step on this ball and apparently it's gonna feel amazing. So here we go. Oh yeah, that's great. So it feels a little dangerous though. Maybe I should be holding something while I do this. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, I'd say this is a great foot massage. Yeah, this isn't bad. I mean, if you're into that kind of thing. I'm gonna do the other foot. Yeah, sure, I, uh, I guess we can say this works. one that I always wondered if it actually worked. I'm pretty sure it does, but I could be completely wrong. So we got our two warm monsters. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure it's warm with this thermometer. Perfect. Okay, so it says here that the monster can 138 degrees. Is that a sticker? <laughs> It's a sticker! Okay, press the button. It's not working. What the heck? I think I broke it. Is the battery not incorrect? What the frick is going on? It turned on. Oh, it's working! Woo! I got it to work! So it says here that I am... I'm gonna see if I have a fever. It's still going up. Almost there. 97.3 degrees. Oh man, that was actually kind of sharp. Okay, let's see what temperature these cans are. 84.2? 83.8. Maybe I have to open them up first. Well, this is a complete waste because it's 11 o'clock at night. What's this one at? 80.6. Okay, so we're gonna say they're both at about 80 degrees. Okay, get our water, get our towel thing. Okay, get that nice and wet. Now we're gonna put it on the monster can, all around it. We're gonna do another one just for good measure. There we go, perfect. Okay, so now I'm gonna go and put these in my mini fridge. Okay, and the first one, and the second one. Okay guys, I'll see you later. I'm gonna go ahead and set a timer. Okay, five minutes. Okay, I'll see you guys then. Looks like we're good. Okay, how are we doing? Ooh, kind of cold to the touch. Not very cold to the touch. Okay, let's see how cold these are. Here we go. Ugh, okay, let's see how cold this bad boy is. Ooh, that's kind of cold. Also a little gross. Okay, so the one that didn't have a napkin on it is 75 degrees. So it went down five degrees. Uh, let's see how cold this one got. 74. <gasps> what? It went down nine degrees. Woo! So I guess we can say it works. What do I do with these monsters now? It's like 11 p.m. Oh well. Oh, that's a warm one. Oh yeah, that's better.
Okay, so here's our coin. This is actually like a British penny. I think that's what this is called. This is actually a British penny. So we're gonna put that right there. And I don't have a water dropper, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this like uh, ketchup dispenser and uh, see if that works. Oh, wait, I just spilled two drops. Okay, so that didn't count. Okay, ready? And see if I could do this. One, two, uh, three, four, five, six. Uh, no, I failed. Okay, we have to start over with that. That didn't count, okay? So try this again. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, I dropped it. Why do I suck at this? One more time, okay? One. Uh, uh, now it's just getting it all over it. I think I win. I got unlimited drops. Man, I suck at this. And now my desk is all wet. That's great. Well, uh, I'm just gonna say I failed at this. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like we start off with some parchment paper. Don't need that. Okay, it looks good. Then we need to cut it down to size. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that'll fit in my mouth. Then who would have guessed that toothpaste would make your teeth whiter? Who would have known? Next, we're gonna get some baking soda. Oh man, that's a lot. I'm just gonna pour it on there. I'm gonna try to put that back, actually. I did not mean to pour out that much baking soda. Then you just kind of rub it all together. Oh man, this is weird. I don't like this. Did I have to do it like this? Like, do we have to do it with our fingers? Is that a requirement? If I don't do it with my fingers, is it not gonna work? These are the real questions I need to know. Oh man, uh, gross. Yeah, it looks like they did more of a smearing motion like this. Like they kind of smeared it. Like they just kind of rubbed it. Puts more of this sweet, sweet white powder on. This is probably gonna taste really bad. Uh, Dude, I hate having stuff on my hands. This is so gross. Uh, okay, I need to wash my hands off. Okay, hands are all clean. Uh, let's clean this up a little bit. <laughs> Perfect. Now I just have uh, baking soda all over the rest of my desk. But as long as you guys can't see it, that's all that really matters. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and put this monstrosity in my mouth. I think I may have made it a little too big. Uh, <gasps> oh, that is way too big for my face. Okay, we're gonna try it anyway. So this is my teeth before. Yeah, there you go. Get a nice close up of that. Okay, so this is my teeth before. Here you go. Oh man, I missed some parts of shaving and my lips are all chapped. I look so gross. Anyway, let's put this bad boy in. <laughs> this is way too big. Okay, I have to cut this down. I'm sorry. I was gonna put it in for comedic effect, but I don't think I can even manage it. It'll just look too ridiculous. Even this is too big. Baking mm. soda tastes so weird. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 Okay, let's see how these bad boys look. Okay, so this is my teeth before. Now this is the after. What do you guys think? Does it look any different? I think it looks a little bit wider personally. So I'm gonna go ahead and say it works. Okay guys, here's our glue. Just gonna take that off. We're gonna try and outline my fingernail with it. This is a lot harder because I'm doing it with my right you hand. You can do it finger. Yeah, just get it all in there. Make sure it covers up my not nail part. Yeah, that looks good. Next finger. Oh man, this is getting everywhere. I should have probably put a mat down or something before I did this. Oh well. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and let my fingers dry for a little bit and then we'll do the next part. Okay, so these bad boys are dry. Now for the fun part, adding nail polish. You know what, let's add white as our base. Here's some white. Oh, that is going straight to the bottom. What happened? It just separated. Now for the pink. Cool, cool, looks good. Now for green. Blue. Come on, Blue, I believe in you. Okay, cool. Oh my gosh, that blue looks so cool, actually. That looks pretty sick. Okay, now it's time for me to stick my fingers in this bad boy. So just, uh, I guess like this. And then we, just, uh, just like that. We pull it out. Okay, yeah, my fingers are definitely covered in nail polish now. I'm gonna put that off to the side. Uh, what do I do with this? Okay, I got toilet paper. Let's try and clean this off my fingers a little oh, bit. Oh, no. I got that all over me. Okay, we got this. Just gonna get this basic stuff off. That was not supposed to go that far. Cool. Now let's peel some of this glue off. Oh my gosh, did it work? Oh, there's no nail polish there. Oh my gosh, it actually works. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I hate the smell of nail polish so much. But it's looking like it works so far. Peel the rest off. Oh, not bad. Dude, it actually kind of works. Let's do the pinky. Wow, yeah, that actually kind of works. I mean, besides this part. So I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Okay, 
so here are my hands. I still have some nail polish from the last time I painted them. These black nail polish in there, so I'm gonna go ahead and use white for mine. So here we go, mix, mix, mix. Gotta paint my nails real good. I am the best nail painter there ever was. Look how good I'm doing my nails. I'm the best nail painter ever. Uh, uh, look at, ah, oh, no, I got too much. What do I do if I get too much nail polish? How the heck do I fix this? Five minute crafts, help me. I need your help. I can't do this on my own. I'm like a 24 year old man child. Oh, it looks like uh, some of my nail polish from my last nail job is kind of mixing with the white. That's not good. Boop. Yeah, oh my God, I got too much on there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now let's go ahead and bring in our cornstarch. I probably should have opened this before uh, I started filming this, but you know, you live and learn. Then we're just gonna put our fingers in one at a time. Kind of get it around there, mix it up real good. Now my whole finger is white. Perfect. So apparently I just do this and it instantly dries off. So I'm gonna go ahead and blow this off. Maybe that'll work, I don't know. I don't have a brush to like brush them off. Did that work? I can't really tell. I mean, my fingernails are white. I don't know. I think it kind of worked. They're not really dry dry. Oh, they are kind of dry dry. Well, uh, I guess we're gonna have to say this work. Okay, so here's our plate, here's our water. Oh man, what's inside my water bottle? That's so disgusting. That's gross. We're gonna go ahead and add some food coloring. I'm gonna use blue, cause that's what they use in the video. Mix it up. Yeah, that looks good. Now we're gonna get our candle, put it there. And we're gonna light this bad boy. Here we go. Now for the fun part. Is it gonna work? I don't know. Is it sucking it up? Oh my god, the water's actually going up. It's actually going up. What? Oh my gosh. It actually works. Oh my gosh. And we're gonna let it all out. <laughs> I feel like Bill and I have a science guy. So I guess we're gonna have to say this works. Okay guys, so for the whole second half of the video, I forgot to plug in the microphone all the way, so I have no audio from this whole video. And I already recorded the whole thing, so I'm not gonna record the whole freaking thing again, you understand? Anyway, I went ahead and I spent $20 on candles, so I already freaking did this video, and I can't refilm it, so uh, here's a freaking $20 candle. So we're gonna try to get the wax out of this jar uh, using this knife. Oh man, this is definitely gonna take so freaking long. Well, uh, I guess just enjoy me trying to get the wax out of this jar for the next 20 minutes. <laughs> I don't even know, dude. Oh look, surprise, surprise, I broke the jar. Well, uh, I guess there's nothing else to do besides uh, break it even more. Maybe I could get some of the candle wax out just by hitting the back of it. Bobby, what the heck were you thinking there? Okay, now it's time to Hulk smash. Uh. Uh, 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 oh no, I broke the tip of my knife. That's what I get for freaking stabbing glass. That's such a stupid thing for me to do. Uh, okay, let's break this thing open. Hulk smash, smash, smash. Come on, uh, open up. I need it to freaking open up. Smash, okay, that didn't work. You got this candle. Oh my gosh, this looks so weird. It looks kind of cool though. Uh, I gotta get this wick out somehow. Okay, now what the heck am I supposed to do with this glass? I'm just gonna go ahead and pop the little wick out. Uh, there we go. Slide out nice and easy and we have ourselves a wick a very blurry wick i'm actually going to use the wick from this candle um so i just have to try and break this thing open come on you could just gotta break it just uh, snap come on get out of there just, oh there we go broke open that candle and now we have ourselves a nice wick that we could use for later and also all this extra candle wax now we have all of our melted wax okay here we go and now we gotta melt it so just for this occasion i knew that it was gonna take a long time for this wax to melt so i brought out my blow torch yeah, just melt the wax just like that. We're melting it for both ends. It's gonna melt in no time. Melting, 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 melting. You guys like my voiceover? I'm sorry my voice is so annoying. I wish that I had a better voice so that I could voice over things better. But, you know, I just don't know how to react to things that have already happened. Like, none of this is surprising to me. Looks like we got our wax all melted down. It's looking pretty good. That looks like some pretty freaking melted wax. And uh, it is getting all fogged up in my lens. Great, that's just great. Let's go ahead and try and add the wick. Let's put it in there just like that. Now we're gonna put all the wax in the bottle. Let's hope I don't drop this on myself. Ooh, that was a close one. Oh man, this is getting everywhere. Oh, 
Oh, it's Shrek! Oh, no! Okay, so since it's Shrek, I guess I'll just dump all the uh, stuff that we put in it back in there. Oh, no, it's bubbling! It's bubbling! It's bubbling! This was actually really scary, because it was just popping everywhere. The wax was literally popping everywhere. Do you see that? Do you freaking see that? That is so scary. It's like bubbling tar. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and let this cool down for a little bit, and then we're gonna try it again. Okay, so it turns out that uh, you're supposed to actually put the wick in afterwards after watching the video. I feel kind of like a dumb boy now, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. But first, we're gonna put the wax inside this bottle now that it's cooled down a little bit. Let's put some of this wax in here. Oh no, it looks like it's doing it again. Keep going, keep going. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh no, yeah, that's definitely melting the bottom of it. Oh man, oh no. Are we just gonna go all in? Is this the one where I go all in? I forget. I think it is. I think this is the one where I went all in. As you can see, uh, it melted the whole bottle. Them, and now just kind of shrank up. So uh, I definitely think I'm gonna have to try this one again. As you can see, I was very frustrated because I had to do this three times and I freaking lost all the audio. So we're just gonna pour that back in there and uh, we're gonna try it again once it cools a little bit more. God, this bottle's so hot. Yep, that's a very hot bottle. It's melted the bottom. Okay, now it's our third attempt. Let's see if we can get it right this time. We're gonna go ahead and pour the wax in. I've let it cool for about half an hour now. So I don't think that the wax is gonna be so hot that it's gonna melt the bottle. So we're gonna keep going. Keep going. Oh, so far so good. It's looking good, looking good, looking good. Yep, this is the one where I go all in. Keep going. Oh my gosh, it's almost there. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Do you believe that this black stuff is wax? That's so weird. It doesn't look like real stuff. We're almost at the top. We're so close. That actually kind of looks like real Coke. That's kind of scary. Almost, almost, and top it off. And boom! Woo! It didn't melt the bottle. Now it's time to add the wick. Put that in there and drop it in. And this is where I kind of freaked out because I didn't have anything to hold the wick. <laughs> So I ended up using these skewers that were rubber band together from another video that I did and then I broke them off that way they weren't super long and I just kind of let the wick uh, chill there and that was that. So now we're just gonna let it cool down for a little bit. Okay, so we let it cool and it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty solid. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take the wrapper off just like this. Use an exacto knife, cut that off. Whew. Okay, now for the real fun part. I get to cut this plastic off without cutting off a finger. Okay, so we make the first incision. Keep going, keep going, keep going. There we go. And the plastic is kind of uh, tougher than I thought. I'm gonna grab a different knife. So here's a different knife and we're gonna do some surgery here. Woo! Cut down the middle, cutting. Keep pulling, Woo! and we're free! Woo! Oh my gosh, look how good this turned out. It looks like an actual bottle of Coke. Does that fit back on? Nope, kind of, yeah. Wow, this turned out a lot better than I thought it did. It looks like I can't really fit the bottle cap on though, but that's fine, it's not a big deal. We're gonna be lighting this on fire anyway. Let's go ahead and put the wrapper back on. Wow! This actually looks like a real Coke bottle. Wow, this just turned out really good. So I guess we're gonna say it works! I just want to start out by saying that I feel like this one's a little bit morbid. <laughs> also, I don't condone this at all. Okay, Mr. Teddy Bear, time to take off your head. <laughs> take that. Okay. And then we get our jaw. Just gonna shove that inside of his body. Take that off. Here we go. Just get in there. Oh, still the tag. Don't need that. This is kind of creepy. Then we take our hot glue gun, which isn't heated up yet, so I guess I'm gonna have to wait for this to heat up. What a killjoy. Oh, man. Okay, glue gun's all heated up. Now we're just gonna put that all up in there. Oh, man, this seems kind of dangerous. Okay. Please don't burn me. Please don't burn me. Oh, no. This is a mess, dude. I'm gonna go ahead and use a popsicle stick so that this doesn't burn me. Oh, it just keeps getting stuck to everything. How the heck am I supposed to get this out? Oh, man. Ah! Maybe underneath? I don't know. I'm not feeling too good about this one. For one, we just decapitated a bear. I think this might make me actually go vegetarian. Ah! Ow! 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 Woo! I'm sorry, guys. I burnt myself. Had that one to the Robbie Burns himself compilation. I know a bunch of you guys are making them, so there you go. Get in there. Okay, looks good. Now time for the head. Shove all that in there. We're gonna kind of do that. Oh, man. I already know I'm gonna burn myself doing this. Ugh. Don't burn myself. Don't burn myself. Come on. Oh, my gosh. This is so hot. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. That's Ooh. hot. Ouch! I don't mean, like, the decapitated bear's hot. I mean, like... The glue is so hot. Ow! Ow! It's going through the cap. That's how hot it is. Whew, wow, I didn't think I'd actually do it. I'm gonna go ahead and let these dry a little bit and then we're gonna put these bad boys together. And then they will become one once again. Okay, it looks like it's all cooled down. Let's try and put this Humpty Dumpty back together. Okay, so we're just gonna uh, put it on and then, come on, you got this. <gasps> Did it, oh no, it came off. Come on, is it actually firmly grasp? Oh. First you gotta firmly grasp it and then you gotta put it on and then you gotta, come on, please go on, please go on, please. Is it gonna, oh. 
Oh. I think the hot glue is getting in the way of the jar going on. So I gotta do a little bit more surgery. So we're just gonna cut some of this hot glue out. Oh my god. This looks so gross. Get out of here. Oh no. Now the structural integrity of the bear is falling apart. Uh, okay, let's try this again. We're just gonna put it together. And we're gonna twist. Ah! Oh. <gasps> Did it work? I think it actually... Oh. In theory, this works pretty well, but I don't think I can do it because the jars that I got suck. Did it work that time? Dang it! No! Maybe I can just like push it real hard and then twist his neck like that. Oh. Okay, so this one, try it directly with the jar. Okay, I think I got it. Oh. No! No, no, no! Why? Well, guys, I don't know whether to say this works or not. I mean, I could put stuff inside of him, like here's matches. Here's like a popsicle stick. Okay, maybe not a popsicle stick, but he doesn't want to stay together. Maybe I'll try it one more time with that. Okay, I think we did it. It kind of looks like he's wearing a weird collar. Yeah! Woo! Well, guys, I guess we can say it works! Uh, oops. <laughs> Okay, so this is my milk mug. Look how big it is. It's a very big milk mug. I really like my milk. This is what we're gonna be using today. So here's our baby oil. I'm just gonna add that in there. Is this a child safety cap? That's so crazy. Oh my god! Oh, it got everywhere! I was not expecting that to just fly off. Holy crap. Okay, so I'm gonna go wash my hands. Let me just clean you up here. Yeah, that looks better. My new background on. Okay, we're gonna try this again. So we got our baby oil. Now we're gonna add some water. Maybe a little bit more water. Yeah, that should be enough water. Then I just add the food down. I feel like I'm adding way too much, but it looks really cool and I wanna keep doing then it. Then we get our aspirin. How do I get this out of here? Oh, okay. And we're just gonna drop it in. You ready? One, two, and... What's gonna happen? Anything cool? Nothing's happening. I feel kind of cheated. Yeah. Definitely feeling a little cheated right here. Maybe some more? It just disappears. Even more? Oh, it's starting to bubble. Okay, I'm gonna add more. Something cool gonna happen? Nothing's happening. This is so lame. Did I not get real aspirin or something? Okay, we're gonna dump even more in. How is nothing happening? What did I do wrong? Aspirin. Okay, I've officially dumped the whole bottle in and nothing is happening. Is this like not real aspirin or something? That is so weird. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling a little bit cheated right now. So I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. So all we gotta do is cut this guy with these. At least I hope that these cut them. <laughs> Here we go. And one, two, and. Okay, it worked, cool. Let's do the rest of them. Okay, yeah. Looking pretty good. And we're just supposed to bend these out a little bit, apparently. Not gonna lie, this looks a little scary. Maybe bend these a little bit straighter. Oh boy. Yeah, this doesn't look like it'll hurt my head at all. Then we're gonna go and get our hot glue gun. Put it on all the tips. Oh, man, knock my hot glue gun over. Get all these little spider webbies out. Ah. Okay, now let's give this a second to cool. Okay, here we go. Beanie's coming off. Let's try this. Ah. It's okay. Ah. It's stuck in my hair. Ooh, that feels nice. Ooh. Whoa, that feels pretty good. Ow, 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 ow. The hot glue got stuck in my hair. Also, one of these little tips fell off, so it scratched me. I mean, it felt pretty good until that happened, so I guess we're gonna ask if this works. So this is the Adventure Mobile. And this is the new and improved Adventure Mobile. I got this bad boy off of a guy on Craigslist. Let's hope I don't regret that. So here's our tire, here's our toothpaste. Put that underneath there. Now let's see if it'll get every drop out. Tori, start the engine. Okay, go forward. Oh, uh, that's backwards. There you go. And it looks like we got all of it out. Woo! Tori, here, you need this? No, Tori, stop, you need to stop. Stop, stop, Tori, 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 stop. <laughs> well, I guess we can say it works. Do you want to brush your teeth now with this? No. Here, put it, put it in your mouth. No, put it, put it in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Gross! Such cute girl.
So here are our binders. There's so many. Holy crud. So it looks like we gotta lop some of these binders apart. So let's just, uh, one at a time, I suppose. First one. Here we go. They made that look way too easy. This is not that easy. Oh my gosh. Okay, one side down. Let's do the other one. Okay, Whoa. so one down. Don't need that. Bunch more to go. Get that out of there. Get that out of there. Okay. What do I do with the last two? Oh, okay, so I lop all of them apart. Well, it looks like you guys aren't getting spared either. Woo! Oh man, this one's broken. Don't need that. Here we go. Woo! Okay, let's glue all these guys together. You're going to here. You guys be good and stay together now. Here we go. It's your guys' turn. Oh! I knew that was gonna happen. I knew I was gonna burn myself at some point. Ow! It's another one for the Robbie Burns himself compilation, I, I guess. Ow. That hurts, actually. Ow. Just gotta finish this. Okay, I need to put this underwater. Okay, let's keep going. Ow, my thumb. I really don't want to burn myself again. It's actually so hot that it's melting the binder a little bit when I do this. Oh my god, it actually melted the binder. Okay, here we go. Dang, I need more glue. Okay, here we go. Just cock that. Perfect. Uh, uh, I think this might actually work. But it's not gonna look very pretty. <gasps> Just burn myself again. Ouch. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and let all this stuff cool. I'll see you guys in a little bit. So it looks like these guys are all cooled off. Yep, they're staying together. Let's go put these guys in a bookshelf. Okay, so here's our shelf. I'm gonna go ahead and hide my soap in there. Perfect. Now we put our binders. There we go. Oh my gosh, I would never suspect that I'm hiding anything behind there. Well, I guess we get that works. Okay, so I'm not sure exactly what this is supposed to do, but I guess we'll try it. So we're just gonna take some of these matches out. Good, good. Then we're gonna put some good old fashioned toothpaste on them. Oh man, this is so clogged. Ah! Yeah, that that works. Okay, we'll try this again. Yeah, just get that all over them. Perfect. Yeah, these are nice and covered in toothpaste now. I'm not sure what that accomplished, but we freaking did it. I wonder if it's just supposed to make them waterproof. Let them soak for a sec. Yeah, that should be good. Okay, here's our test. It's not working. No, no. That definitely didn't work. Well, I guess we're gonna have to say that this whole thing was kind of pointless. <laughs> Okay, so I just want to say this one, kind of ridiculous. <laughs> so here's our water bottle. Let's go ahead and cut a face hole for this bad boy. Just gotta... Okay, here we go. Come on, we can do it. Okay, yeah. This one feels a little bit ridiculous. I think I need a little bit more space up here. A little bit more. Okay, maybe that'll work. This part kind of hurts my chin. Come on. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that one seems to fit. Then we're gonna get a tape. It says we're supposed to use insulating tape, but this is kind of the only one I have, so I guess we'll have to make do. Gonna line this with tape so it doesn't hurt my face. There we go. Aha! There we go. Then we're supposed to take this bad boy off and fill it with cotton balls. I think just one should do fine. Put this thing on there. I was supposed to poke holes actually. Good enough. Two holes. That's all we need. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is gonna work. I feel like I did this completely wrong. Yeah, there we go. Then we gotta do like a mouth cover thing. So I'm gonna use this. And I'm just gonna duct tape it to my face. Cut it like that. One piece of duct tape. And two piece of duct tape. Oh my gosh. Well, let's go ahead and put this on my face, I guess. Okay, here we go. Put this over here. Yeah. And then this one. Oh, it's covered my eyes. This one over here. I definitely feel more protected already. Maybe I should put like even more tape. Tape it underneath my chin. There we go. Yeah. Now I'm gonna tape it to my face even more right here. Yeah. There we go. Oh, I got it on my eye. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about this. So, now time to put this thing on my face. This smells so weird. I can't breathe very well in there. Okay, I just want to say I feel like this is very dangerous. I can't breathe very well. Woo! Okay, I'm gonna spray something before I pass out. Okay, now let's see if I can smell this. Well, I can't smell anything. Well, I guess we're gonna have to say it this way. <laughs> Okay guys, so here's our tape. I made sure that it's pink uh, so that it goes with our aesthetic. I'm gonna take that off. Let me rip this into pieces. Zoom this bad boy in. So then we're just gonna like that. Maybe I should have done the other way first. Just like that. Yeah, it looks good. Now it's time to do that with the rest of my fingers. I really should have pre-ripped more of these because now my fingers are covered in tape. Oh, oh no. Okay, here we go. Come on, like that. This is so hard to rip. Maybe we could do it around my finger like that. I'm such a good beauty guru. As you can tell, like that. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. No. 
Nope, I messed up. I messed up right there. That looks better. Now for the pinky, the last one. Because I definitely don't want to get nail polish splatter in the place where I got nail polish on my finger. Better cover that up. Yeah, there we go. Aha! Okay, perfect. Then we get our straws. Well, I only really need one. So get out of here. Let's go ahead and go with pink for this one. I'm just gonna take this off. Wait, where am I supposed to put this brush? Maybe over here. And it fell over. Stay up. I'll just put this off to the side. Please don't get everywhere. Stop! Okay, stay over here. Be a good brush. I'm gonna take our straw and just kind of dip it in. Now I gotta blow. Oh, that didn't work. This is proving to be a little bit harder than I thought. Okay, let's try this again. It doesn't seem to be working very well. Oh, I just got a big glob of it on my nail. Oh, that would kind of work. Okay, not bad. Yep, I think this is kind of working. Sick. Now we got perfect paint splatters on our nails. Now let's go ahead and dip it in our cornstarch. Oh, yeah. Let's get it all in there. Just get in that cornstarch. Yeah, that should work. Because as we know, oh, oh man, I got that everywhere. <laughs> God, this is everywhere. Anyway, as we know, cornstarch instantly dries nails, so... Ah, didn't work that time. Just gonna pull these off. How are we looking? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up really quick. There we go. That's a lot cleaner. My hands are still covered in cornstarch, but that's fine. So it looks like our nails didn't turn out very nice. I'm sure this probably kind of works in some way if you execute it right, but I don't think I executed it right, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that this didn't work. Okay, so here's the shirt we're gonna be using. As you can see, it's a classic signed by Five Minute Crafts himself. Shirt that I got in San Diego for that craft convention. It was pretty awesome, but I tried to erase it before and it didn't work. And now I just kinda use it for all my crafts. Anyway. Oh no! I dropped my pen on my shirt! That's just, uh, oh uh, no! Oh, oh no! How could I be so cl clumsy? God, I am awful at this. Oh uh, no! I don't even know what I was trying to accomplish here. <laughs> Let's just get some more in there. Yeah, I feel like that should do it. Let's get our bowl of milk. I'm just gonna go ahead and push that in there. And theoretically, it'll just kind of come out. I don't know how real- Oh my gosh! That was kind of cool. It actually happened like how it did in the video. Let me just do that again for you guys really quick. You guys ready for this? I don't know if you guys are ready for this. You ready? It's actually gonna- It actually cut. Oh my gosh, it's actually coming off. That is kind of cool. I didn't think that it would work that well. Then I guess we're just gonna- There's still a lot on my shirt, though. We just keep doing it. What am I supposed to leave that in there for? Yeah, that should, uh, that should be good. Oh yeah, that's great. <laughs> Not drinking that anymore. Well, might as well sop it up with the rest of the shirt. Am I right? <laughs> now let's throw this bad boy in the wash. <laughs> throw that in there. Get our little Tide Pod. Contrary to popular belief, guys, these are not snacks. Small, light. Okay, I'll see you in 20 minutes. Here we go. So I washed a little bit. Let's see the results. Are you ready? One, two, and. <gasps> oh no! It didn't work! I was never expecting this! Five Minute Crafts has never let me down before! Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. <laughs> So here's our bowl, here's our vinegar, pour some of that in there, here's our lemon. I expected that to go a lot smoother. Squeeze that. Okay, don't need that anymore. Yeah, that should be good. Then we get our cotton ball, dip that in there. We're gonna try and get it off. It doesn't seem to want to come off. Come on, you can do it. Okay, I just want to say I hate the smell of vinegar, so this is awful. Okay, so I've been like scrubbing this bad boy and no nail polish has come off. So I guess I'm gonna have to say this doesn't work. So we're gonna fill this bad boy up with water. Yeah, that looking good. Now we're just gonna dump it out normal. Yeah, nothing to see here, nothing special. Then we're gonna fill it up again. Okay, so we're gonna take this, put our hand over it, swirl it up. Mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it. And see if anything happens. Nothing! Okay, I'm gonna mix it again. Mix, 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 mix! It doesn't look any different. Okay, am I doing this wrong? I'll be right back. Okay, so I rewatched the video and all they did was this. So let's try that. There we go. It didn't look very swirly at all. Maybe I'm using the wrong kind of bottle or something. I don't know, but I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work.
So first things first, I'm the realist. Just kidding. We need a water bottle. And we need to cut the top off this bad boy. Oh, yeah, we don't need that anymore. Maybe take this wrapper off, because we don't need that either. Then I gotta break out the old soldering iron again. Okay, now you heat up and be good. Okay, I feel like you are nice and hot now. So we're just gonna go ahead and burn little holes in the top of this bad boy. This is easy peasy. Easy as cake. Cake is easy. Never easy. Wow, this really is pretty easy. Thanks, five minute crafts. Oh okay. yeah, yeah, we don't need that anymore. Oh no, it's burning my table. Then we're gonna go ahead and get our cup. Put this bad boy in there. Here's our tea. Ugh. We technically already have a tea bag and this is what this is supposed to do. So I guess we're just gonna rip the tea bag open because I don't have any loose leaf tea. Yeah, there we go. That ought to do it. Then we go ahead and pour our hot water. That already does not look very appetizing. Oh, there's chunks all in it. That's so gross. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to let this seep through and I'll let you know what happens. Okay, I gave this some time to steep. Uh, that does not look very appetizing. <laughs> yeah, that looks so- Oh, oh Oh man. Yeah, okay. No, this got so much stuff inside the tea. I would not drink that. I'm sorry. I cannot say that this works. This does not work, okay? Okay, so here's one of my favorite Panic at the Disco shirts. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like I have some holes in it. Right here, right here. I have quite a few holes in this shirt. I wore the heck out of this shirt. So I guess we're just gonna flip it inside out. Yep, you can still see the holes. We're gonna take our tape. Just kinda, there we go. Straighten that up. We just kinda stick it on there, just like that. Yeah, good as new. Flip it back out. Oh no, we can see the white. It does look better though, admittedly. Get our Sharpie, and we just kinda fill that in. Wow. Okay, so admittedly, you can still see it, but it looks a a lot less noticeable than it did before, I guess. So I, uh, I guess we're gonna have to say this works. <laughs> Okay, so we get our glass. Yeah, that should do. And then we're gonna fill it up. And we're gonna put this bad boy in the microwave for eight minutes. Start. I'll see you in eight minutes. Oh man, that's kind of scary. It's like bubbling right now and we're only at four minutes and 50 seconds. So we're only halfway done. I feel like this glass is gonna shatter as soon as I take it out. But you know what? Five Minute Crafts has never let me down before. Okay, so it looks like we're all done. Um, I'm gonna take this out. Oh my gosh, there's like no water left in this. Where'd all the water go? Dude, that's crazy. Okay, so we're gonna put something in there. So here's a knife. Now let's try it, you ready? Oh, that's lame. Maybe something like like this. Like literally nothing's happening. I, I microwaved it for eight minutes. Nothing's happening. I feel so lied to. Well, I guess we could say that this doesn't work. <laughs> Okay, let's see how good this really is. We got our pepper. We got our whipped cream. Here we go. This does not look very appetizing at all. Okay guys, I'm gonna eat it. Are you ready? I mean, I wouldn't really recommend it. This isn't really that great. It's kind of a bad combination, actually. Ugh, I don't really like it. <laughs> Okay guys, so since I did such a great job painting my own nails, uh, can I get a hand? Uh, perfect! I didn't want to paint mine anyway. Anyway, let's try this! Okay, we got our dental floss. Wrap it around this bad boy. Just like that. And we get our nail polish. Well, that just, yes, I need to open this. I Hold just, the bottle. Just the... Okay, cool. Awesome, we got okay, it. Okay, let's paint this bad boy. I'm an expert nail painter. So, I, I know this is gonna turn out great. Perfect! Okay! Yeah, this is looking pretty good. This is the best nail painting I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> the best nail painting I've ever done. Now that the nail's fully painted, let's take this bad boy off. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that didn't work at all. I think I may have put a little bit too much nail polish on. I I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one didn't work. Okay, so here's our steel wool. Here's our battery. <laughs> Here's our battery. Here's our cotton wool. Whatever that is. I think they're just called cotton balls here. Anyway, let's try this. This is kind of scary. Is it just gonna combust on why me? Why is nothing happening? Something's supposed to happen. Okay, what's going on? I'm not sure why, but nothing's happening. I'm getting a feeling that this isn't steel wool. Come on. Light on fire. That's all I'm asking you to do. This battery is getting real hot. I just hope it doesn't explode. <laughs> well, I'm not sure what I did wrong, but this isn't working. I don't know. I guess we're gonna have to say this one doesn't work.
Okay, so here's our plastic pocket. Then we get our nail polish. I guess we'll start out with a, a green base. Look how fun this green is. That should be good. Then we're gonna go ahead and get some pink. Then we get some blue. Yeah, that ought to do it. Okay, now we're gonna start mixing it up. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Oh, there we go. That's probably way better. Some of that blue, some of that green, some of that pink. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of white, actually. Oh, there we go. Okay, now let's mix this bad boy up. Just like they did. Just like that. And then like that. Okay, now let's let this bad boy dry. Okay, so this looks like it's all dry. Let's try and peel it off now. I hope I'm doing this right. Oh my gosh. It's actually coming off. Oh my gosh, I didn't think that would come off this clean. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. This is actually working. I'm kind of surprised. Whoa. It actually worked. Okay, I think I'm gonna need another hand here. Perfect. So I guess we start off with our base coat. I'm gonna try this one. Yeah, just get it up in there. We're gonna put some of this green on here. Go. It feels like it's actually kind of sticking on already. Whoa. And we gotta cut this bad boy off. Don't move. Don't move. Come on, you can do it. Doesn't want to cut off. Oh, it's working. It's working. Come on, you can do it. Okay. I think that's good enough. <laughs> what the heck even, dude? Okay, now let's put another base coat on this. Maybe put that little chunk on there. Fill in that gap where I messed up. <laughs> Now your nails look just as beautiful as mine. I'm so sorry. This looks like a kindergartner did your nails. Okay, yeah, that looks good. Well, I guess we can say it works. Kinda, kinda, it kinda works. It doesn't look very good, but it works. And that's all that matters. Okay, so if you guys follow me on Twitter, which you guys totally should, at Robbie Epic Sauce, you guys will know that I absolutely love pizza. I am the pizza boy, okay? I am the pizza boy. I think this one's gonna be a pretty good life hack for me. Okay, so it looks like they opened it up, and then... Is it this one or this one? I think it's this one. Just... Oh no, I ripped it. Oh, crap. Oh no. Okay, get that out of there. This is a very gross looking pizza box. <laughs> so then I have to make a weird V shape here. So I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that with some scissors. Is this right? I don't know. Okay, that one's done. There we go. And then it looked like they folded these in, but I don't really have those anymore. Then they did that. Uh, I don't think I cut it in the right place. Just... I don't think I did it right. <laughs> Yeah, this looks like it worked pretty good. Well, I guess we're gonna say that this works! Okay, so here are our zip ties. I'm gonna go ahead and put these bad boys together. I think I need more. Boop. Put my hands in there. Okay, so now I need it to be super tight. Uh, ah, woo! Yep, that's pretty tight. Let's hope this hack actually works because I don't know if I'd be able to get out of this. Okay, so apparently you're just supposed to do this. Ow! Oh! Ow! It kind of hurt my wrist! What? I guess we can say it works! Here are our hangers. Here's our sewing kit. The fabric we're gonna use. Let's go ahead and put this off to the side for a sec and cut this to where we want it. Yeah, that seems like it's pretty long. Let's go ahead and do like right here. Let's cut it along this way. Okay. Don't need that anymore. Now we have ourselves a perfect little foot hammock. Or the start of one anyway. Put one right here. Put the other one right over here. Now we gotta sew this bad boy. Here we go. Here's our needle. Okay, looks good. Pick out our threads. Let's go with this orange one. Just kidding, this is brown. I'm colorblind. Get it through that eye. Cut that. Tie a knot. Okay, here we go. Just start sewing this bad boy. Man, this is gonna take forever. We should bring out the big boy. Oh. If this doesn't do it, I don't know what will. Okay, how do I set this bad boy up? Maybe like that? I don't really know. Okay, so how do I get this thing in here? Lift this up, maybe? And then, uh, I don't know how I do this. Maybe if I plug it in, it'll work? Now we just gotta push the pedal. That's not good. <laughs> oh, there's a switch on the back. You're supposed to flip it to on. Oh, the little light turns on. Let's try it now. Looks like it's working to me. Okay, so let's try this again. This is kind of scary. I'm gonna turn this off for now. I don't want the needle going down in my finger. Wait, which way does this go? Oh my gosh, I hope this is going the right way. Well, we'll find out. I don't think I'm doing this right. And where'd the thread go? Oh no. I'll be right back. Okay, so Tori showed me how to use it, so we're gonna try this again. So we're gonna start this again, right here. Just real slow. Oh. Uh oh, there's a thing that's happening right here. What even is this? Okay, it looks like we did it. I mean, I guess it's not that bad. So let's do the other side. Here we go. Whoa. Man, I'm really good at this. As you can see. Oh man, this didn't work at all. Okay, I'm gonna try it one more time. So this down. 
Okay, now it's not working at all. Here we go. Oh, crap. Okay, so that's broken. How do I replace the needle? Okay, so it looks like we don't have an extra needle, so uh, I can't use this thing after all. Man, this thing was such a waste of time. Well, time to do this by hand. Get our sewing kit. Actually, I already have this one that I just took off, so we're gonna use this one instead. Time to start back at square one. It's gonna take so long. There we go. Just cut that off. I mean, it's not very pretty, but I guess it'll work. Oh my gosh, I just realized something. I put them each the wrong way. Okay, we're gonna try it out anyway. Okay. Okay, so here it is. We're just gonna put it like this and I guess twist it because I messed up. Here we go. And we're just gonna put my feet right here. Oh boy. Yeah, that's that's great. So I wouldn't trust these as like a long-term solution because it looks like they're about to break. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. So here are our glasses. As you can see, they can get very fogged up really easily. Oh yeah, it's so fog. I think it's because I just uh, put like mouthwash in my mouth so it's not working. Let's try the other side. Dang it, why aren't these fogging up? Yeah, that's getting fogged all right. Well, we don't need that, because we got our soap. So just rub that soap all over there. Yeah, work that right into the lens. Here we go. Yep, that's definitely not foggy at all. I guess part of it is because these like didn't fog in the first place because they're plastic, but I guess we could say this works because they didn't fog. <laughs> Okay, so this is my dad's old shoe shining kit. I'm pretty sure he used to use this when he was a kid uh, to shine his shoes or an adult. I don't really know. All I know is it looks really cool, so I stole it. Uh, I should probably give this back to him. Anyway, the zippers aren't very easy to zip open and close, so let's go ahead and try this. Here we go. Oh man, my chapstick is gonna be so gross after this. Here we go. Going on the old shoe shining kit that's probably older than I am. I'll work that in there. I mean, in a way, it is kind of like a lubricant, so I don't see this not working. Okay, here's the final test. One, two, and... Oh, wow. That is a little bit nicer. It just kind of looks a little greasy now. Okay, so that's this side. Not bad. This one's definitely harder to do on this side. Well, I guess we're gonna have to say this works. Well, might as well work into the rest of it. <laughs> Okay, so here's our bag, here's our pencil. Let's fill this bad boy with water. Okay, so we turn this bad boy on, fill that up. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, we're back over here. Now it's time to stab this thing with some pencils. Okay, so first one, ready? So here we go. One, two, and oh, it's not leaking. So far, so good. Next one, one, two, and wow, nice. One, two, and looking good. One, two, and this is so weird. Oh, it's starting to leak a little bit. Not awful though. I mean, it's leaking a little bit, but other than that, uh, <laughs> it's pretty legit. So I guess we're gonna have to say this works. So first we gotta grab our box, then we get our string. Sorry, box. Grab our hot glue gun. Take that off, plug that in. Okay, cool, now we just gotta wait for this thing to heat up. I'll see you guys, whatever that is. Okay, it looks like this bad boy's ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and throw on a new background. Oh, that's much better. So we get our box, we get our rope. Where the heck is the end? Here's the end. And we're just gonna start gluing this on. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. It's gonna take a long time, I already know. Get a little bit lower. Here we go. Good, good, next side. Oh my gosh, and it looks like we're done with this part anyway. I'm just gonna go ahead and clip that. Boom. You know what, this doesn't look too bad actually. I kinda like that. I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry a little bit and then we'll do the next part. Okay, it looks good. Now for the hard part. I don't really know what they use for that liner, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use one of my beanies. So just put that there and boom. Yeah, that looks uh, pretty good, I guess. I don't know. Let's see, what kind of things can we put in here? We put our tools, my phones, two stones, trombone. Just kidding, this is a bugle. This is a trombone. And it doesn't fit. And the best part about filming this on a green background is it could literally be anywhere. Now it's in the middle of the desert. Now it's on the moon. And now it's in my favorite movie, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. As you can see, this thing is very useful. So I guess we're gonna have to say it works.
Oh, okay, here we go. So I'm not exactly sure how I would test this, so I got some Glade, and I'm just gonna go ahead and spray it, and if I can smell it through my girlfriend's bra, we know it doesn't work. Okay, let's try this. Here we go. Okay, I smell it. It smells great. It smells like Hawaiian breeze. Mmm, fresh. Okay, now time to put this over my face. I'll tell you guys if I smell it. I don't smell anything. Well, boys, I guess we're gonna have to say this works. Okay, so here's our shoe. I actually couldn't find any with the aglets already broken off, so I guess we're gonna have to do that ourselves. Well, don't need that anymore. Oh, no. My aglet won't go through my grommet. Whatever should I do? Even though it kind of just goes through real easily, uh, but you know, who cares? So we're just gonna take our clear coat and mix that up. And then I guess they kind of just pinched it together like that. Added our clear coat to it, just like that. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Am I supposed to just let this dry? Because as of right now, like it's kind of like the exact same thing as it was before. I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry and uh, we'll follow up with this. Maybe it makes it harder. Put something. a little bit more coat on there. There we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, maybe that'll work. I'll see you guys in a bit when this is dry. Okay, so shoes all dry. Here's our new aglet. Let's go ahead and try Put it. Put this aglet through the grommet. Wow! Oh, I can't believe it! It actually works! So I guess we'll have to say this works! So here's our wrinkly shirt. As you can see, it's pretty wrinkled right there. I've never seen such a wrinkled shirt in my life. So we're just gonna go ahead and get a pot of water. And uh, I've never actually ironed anything before, so this is a first for me. How the heck do I keep this from like wrinkling back? You see that? It keeps going back to like super wrinkly. Maybe if I thumbtack it down or something? Just like that, maybe. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, that should do it. Here we go. Oh! my hand. Theoretically, this should straighten my shirt. It kind of looks like I have some sweaty armpits now. Whoa! It is ironing my shirt a little bit. Wow. That actually does kind of look straighter. Is this working? I feel like it's not really working as well as it was before. Probably because it got way cold. I mean, it is a little bit straighter, but it's not, like, super straight. Especially when I let it go, because when I hold it straight, it becomes straight, but when I let it go, it just kind of does its own thing. I don't know. I feel like this one doesn't really work. Is that straighter than this side? Uh, they kind of look the exact same. So I'm gonna have to say that this doesn't work. So here's our cup of water. Here's our shaving cream. Shake, shake, shake out. Put that all over the top. Oh yeah, that looks like plenty. Then we're gonna get our food coloring. I'm gonna start off with red and then put some right here. I put quite a lot in there, so I think this will do something. And then we'll put a little bit of blue. Oh no, it leaked all down the side. That's not supposed to happen. We're just gonna ignore that part. How if we mix some of the food coloring with, oh, it's doing it. <gasps> it's actually, do oh, that looks so cool. Whoa. That is so cool. The blue and the red kind of mixed together. Let's try green. Let's put green in there. I feel like I'm supposed to mix some of this water with it. I'm gonna try this. Is any gonna leak through? You can do it green. Dude, that looks so weird. What the heck? It's just leaking through it's it. It's getting a little bit muddy, so I'm gonna go ahead and try it again. Okay, here's our fresh cup of water. I'm gonna go ahead and actually put this white paper on here so you can see it a little better. That green got everywhere. Not bad. Okay, I'm gonna try not adding so much shaving cream this time. Okay, not bad. Add our green. Wow. Whoa! It's working! Dude, that looks so cool. Add our blue. <laughs> sick, dude. Add our red. Dude, that looks so sick. It's just like leaking out from the top of it. And it's making one giant black mass. Oh, I turned it and it's just like, oh wow. It's just mixing up right now. Well, I guess we can say it works! So here's our bottle. Now we gotta cut this part off. I haven't used this guy in a while, so why the heck not? Okay, wish me luck. One, two, and... Okay, that's not working too well. Try this again. Woo! Yeah, that came clean off. I, I guess. I definitely think that's good enough. Don't need you anymore. Then we get our can of Coke. Just gonna... Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh. oh man, that got everywhere. Ugh. 
Well, at least it's tasty. I think we're supposed to remove the tab first. Oop, God, that's so messy. Clean this off. Oh, get off of there. Aha. Uh -huh. Now we gotta glue this onto here. Use our trusty hot glue gun. Yeah, get it all around there. And boop. I'm just gonna fill in the cracks so that it doesn't come out anywhere. Now you have a convenient uh, Coke can bottle that is resealable. What else could you need? I'm just gonna overdo it on the hot glue because I really don't want this coming off on me. It's making like hot glue bubbles. <gasps> oh, it's coming off. Oh, ow, it's so hot. Maybe I should have like taken the cap off before I glued it on. Uh, I guess there's nothing else to do besides let this cool down. So I'll see you in a sec. Okay, this seems like it's dry enough. Let's get our little spray bottle. Don't need that. Put that in there. Oh man, I hope this actually fits. And it actually screwed up. Woo! Yeah, this looks great. Now time to test it and get everything all sticky. Guess what, guys? It's actually spraying. It's spraying Coca-Cola. I guess we can say this works. Why you'd want to spray Coca-Cola over everything, I don't really know, but well, now you can. <laughs> Okay, so here's our McDonald's. Here are our fries. Oh man, I wish the box would have came out with it. Oh well. Napkins, who the heck needs those? Put all these in here. Okay, so here are our fries. As you can see, very normal, very lame. Wow, these don't look appetizing at all. I mean, considering I've had these since yesterday, um, they really don't look appetizing. Let's see if we can fix that. So just dump all those out. We don't need these right now. We get our foam. Just cut our foam like that. Oh no. Get out of here, foam. Then we get our toothpicks. Let's make sure that this fits in here first. Oh no, it doesn't. Break that off. Yeah, that should do it. Okay, yeah, perfect. So we're just gonna stab a bunch of toothpicks in here. Just like that. Okay, cool. Now let's add the french fries. That looks pretty good. Now let's just put this in here. Oh my gosh, look how appetizing these french fries look now. Here's the before, and now here's the after. I don't know, I mean, I guess it looks a lot better, so I guess we can say this one works. A lot more dangerous though, because I don't want to eat a toothpick. Or styrofoam. So this is my very first DSLR. My parents got it for me when I turned 18 and uh, it served me well. I think I've made like a thousand videos with this thing. I got this grip for it that actually takes double A batteries. So let's see if this will actually work. Take the batteries out. One, two, three, and four. Don't need those, might as well throw those away. Get our tin foil. Am I supposed to wrap the tin foil around it? I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Aha, next one. Okay, last one. Now we're just gonna pop that in there. Take the battery out. If you guys have one of these grips, a uh, little trick. You can actually put the battery door right there. That way you don't lose it. So we just pop that in. Okay, yeah, it looks good. Now theoretically, this should turn on. You ready? Okay, one, two, and. <gasps> it didn't turn on! I wonder what happened. Maybe it didn't go in all the way. Oh. It's not working! Maybe this is just too much for this little battery. It's so weird that this isn't working. Okay, let's try something else maybe. Okay, here we go, maybe this will work. It's a Fujifilm camera. So we're just gonna go ahead, pop one of these batteries out. We'll only try it with one battery this time. Put that right there. It's so weird, it's not turning on. Did I not put like proper tin foil on this or something? Cause I know that this actually does work. I wonder why this isn't working for me. Maybe it just depends on like what the device is. I'm not sure. Let's try both sides. Will that do something? <gasps> I heard it turn on. I heard it turn on. <gasps> it turned on. Oh my gosh. It's actually working. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take a photo of you guys like this. You ready? One, two, and. Let's go ahead and wait for this to turn out. Okay, so I guess we can say that this works. So for this one, I'm gonna need a can. But all I have is this half drank monster. And it's almost eight o'clock at night. What am I supposed to do? Hey, Toby. Yeah? Do you think you can help me drink this monster? Oh, I sure can. <laughs> oh, Toby, what are you doing? Oh, sorry, I, I guess I drank it a little too fast. Yeah, I, uh, I guess so. Anyway, do we have a can of empty monster? We can try this. Here we go, it's time to operate. 
Oh man, this doesn't seem dangerous at all. Here's our new Antenna Booster. It looks clean. It looks crisp. It looks great. Uh, I'm sure it'll look OEM as, as frick. OEM means like original manufacturer made it for the router. I'm, I'm just joking. I don't know. Okay, let's test this puppy out. Okay, so I'm out in my driveway right now. I don't really have any reception out here. I have two bars on my Wi-Fi. I can't really show you. Can you see that? Anyway, let's go put the thing on and see if it works. Okay, so here's our router. Uh, wait, where am I supposed to put this thing? Um, I don't think that's right. Like that? Like that. Yeah, it looks good. Let's see if this works. Okay, how are we doing? I still have two bars. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Okay, I'm gonna go outside. It's dark out here. Okay, so here's our bottle. All we have to do is heat this up. Just like that. And we gotta push that down. Oh, no. I forgot to empty everything out of it first. Oh, uh, that didn't really make a dent in it at all. I'm just gonna heat it up some more, just like that. Maybe this will do something, I don't know. Okay, it's officially melted a hole through it. So push it just like that. Pull that off. Here's our glass Coke bottle. And then we're just gonna put this on here. And maybe that'll open it? I don't know. Uh, it's not working. How the heck do they do that? I'm gonna try this again with the other side. Okay, light it on fire, just like that. Let me push it down just a little bit. Okay, let's try this again. Maybe it'll work now that it has more of a hook. Come on, you can do it! Ugh. Ow! My finger! Open! I can do it with a lighter. Watch this. Okay, maybe I can't do it with a lighter. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Okay guys, so here's our lock, here's our wrenches. I think they use like bigger ones, so we'll just use these two bad boys. Let's lock this together. And then apparently they just put one here and then one right here. And then they kind of just pulled them apart. Oh boy, this is gonna be a little scary. Ready? One, two, and... Oh my god, it actually works. Well, kind of. I think it still needs a little bit more. But whoa, that's so cool. It broke it apart. Oh my gosh. I didn't think that would actually work. This is a pretty sturdy lock too. Keep twisting it. Here we go. And Woo! oh my gosh. Yeah, that would be like enough to like get it out of there. Dude, that is so cool. This actually works. Well, I guess we're gonna have to send this one. So here's our soldering iron, here's our coke. Oh, shit, oh, no. Please don't explode on me. Oh, uh, stay, stay. Thank you. Put that off to the side for now. Now we have to make a hole in this thing the size of this straw. Okay, be very careful. I don't want to burn myself. That would be very bad. Oh my gosh. Should I be wearing a mask for this? Probably. Okay, now just shove this in here. Just like that. Oh no, I made the hole too big. Oh no. Dang, I can't believe I messed that up. Luckily we have a mostly empty bottle right here. Okay, try this again. Very carefully. Okay, let's try that one. Okay, I think it fit. And it looks Looks like it's still a little too much. Dang, how did I mess that up? Again, I'm the worst at making crafts ever. I think we're gonna break out our hot glue gun. Turn that bad boy on. And now we wait. And now for the funnest part of crafts. Waiting for the hot glue gun to turn on. Okay, I'll see you guys in a bit. This bad boy's all heated up. Now time to put this straw in the cap. Go ahead and do that. And we're gonna get glue all up in there. Yeah, there we go. I'm hoping this will seal it. I don't know. It seems to be an awful lot of work just to make your bottle squirt. I don't know. This seems to be cooled down. Put this guy in here. Oh, that's upside down. <laughs> Screw that on. Okay, now time to see if this works. If not, I'm just gonna get soda all over my desk again. So turn it over, and it's coming out. It's not really working. It still kind of comes out. But when you squeeze it, it does come out. Oh no, it squirted all over the place. Well, I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't really work like it's supposed to. Okay, so here's our can of olive. Here's our wall. Or rock, as they said. Let's see if we can get these bad boys open. <gasps> I think this is gonna take a while. This is quite the workout. Oh my god. <gasps> Some olive juice got on the wall. I think it's opening. I think it's almost open. Come on. <gasps> Come on. I got it open! It worked! Oh my god! I guess we're gonna have to say that this works! Oh 
Okay, so here's our crock pot. Here are our eggs. Let's just go ahead and throw these in there. Okay, looks good. Let's go ahead and grab our Mixatron 5000. Yeah, that looks good. And then we need some carbonated water. Here's our carbonated water. Just gonna go ahead and put that in there. I'm not sure why this is a like big component of this, but I guess it is. Then we need some salt and pepper. Okay. That uh, do it. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this guy in for a little bit and uh, we'll see what happens. So it's been about three hours. Let's see how this looks. Oh, oops. There we go. Yeah, it doesn't look bad so far. It's actually cooked, so that's a good sign. Let's go ahead and try it out. Oh, that sounds so gross. Uh, it kind of looks cooked. It's a little bit runny. It's very uh, soft and fluffy though, so that's kind of cool. Let's try it. I mean, it's okay. It's not like the best thing I've ever had. I think the fact that I put strawberry water in there made it taste a little bit weird, but you gotta work with what you got, I guess. Well, I guess we could say it works. Okay, so here's our hangers. Uh-oh, they aren't broken yet. Uh, let's fix that. Oh, no! Gotta break this one. Wait, do I gotta... I don't have to break another one. That'd be wasteful. And I gotta break it again right here. Ugh, and again, and this one. Ugh, gosh, this is harder than I thought. Let's bring out this bad boy. Okay, yeah, that's not working. Don't throw knives, kids. That's not safe. Maybe pliers? Ugh, yeah. We did it! Woo! Okay, cool. Here's my makeup box that I use. So I guess we're just gonna glue it on like that. I have to dump all my makeup out. Get out of here. So we're just gonna start off with this side. So it goes on like that. Yeah, how to glue this bad boy on. Oh man, I'm really good at this, as you can tell. Okay, cool. Oh, oh, oh. Ah! Of course it wouldn't be a Robbie video unless I burn myself with a hot glue gun. Of course it wouldn't be. Just gonna fill that in so that's nice and secure. So hot, 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 hot. Yeah, this side's looking uh, pretty good. Next side. Hot glue all over this guy. There we go. Ah, looking pretty good. Let's just let this cool for a little bit and then we'll try it out. So it's all cooled off. Let's try it out. Okay, I really hope that I made this the right space. I didn't even think about that when I was making it. So it's just gonna slip on. Oh no. Oh, oh, cool. I mean, it kind of works. That's kind of cool. Just gonna go ahead and put all my makeup and stuff in there. Look, it's actually still holding it. Well, I guess we can say it works! So first thing we're gonna need is sunflower oil. Just gonna go ahead and put some of that in there. Oh, I need to take off the cap first. There we go. That ought to do it. Now we add our food coloring. Okay, now for blue. Let's do a little bit of green. Oh, yeah, that should be good. Now we gotta go and mix this up. Yeah, that looks uh, great. Then we just take our little cup of water and put that in there. Oh man, that looks awful. Well guys, I guess we could say that it, it works. No, I'm just kidding, this doesn't work at all. This isn't working correctly. I'm gonna say that this one isn't, uh, this one doesn't work. <laughs> So here's our toothbrush, and as you can see, it is very messed up, very well used. I definitely didn't brush it against concrete just to do this. Let's see if it gets any better when I put it in a cup of boiling water. Let's pour that in. Let it sit. Swoosh it around for a sec. And let the boiled water do the rest of its magic. Okay, let's go ahead and take this out. Wow, yeah, these definitely look a lot straighter now. I think this might also sanitize it since, you know, you're boiling it. So I guess we're gonna have to say it, this one works. Okay, so here's our image. Let's go ahead and cut it out. Here we go. Okay, now we gotta try and get it out without ripping it. And I guess we'll glue this on. Uh, let me get a glue stick. Where the heck are my glue sticks? Okay, I can't find any glue sticks, so we're just gonna use some super glue instead. I'm sure this won't end terribly. Well, it looks like our super glue doesn't work. I'm gonna go get another pack. Here we go. 
There we go. Put that on there. Finally, we can put our uh, thing on. I'm just gonna say that this is definitely gonna stay on when I put it on. All I have to do is make sure not to get it on my fingers because this stuff does not come off. Ah. Let's see if I can do this. One, two, and... Okay, oh. no, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, okay, we did it. Put it all down. Now it's time to drip some crayons. I gotta take all the papers off first. Probably should have done this beforehand. Oops. Okay, we got all those off. Uh, let's go ahead and try this. So I guess we'll start from lightest to darkest. Uh, do I have a yellow, actually? Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with a yellow. We're gonna put that in there. I need to get a pencil or something. I feel like there's still glue in this guy, so I'm just gonna go ahead and try and get all that out. Just gotta put a pencil in there, and maybe that'll work. So I gotta push it a little bit. Ah! Okay, cool, we got some yellow coming out. There's definitely some glue stuck in there, though. Um, where we put the yellow, and we're gonna put some of this orange. Um, now we gotta try and make it look like she's spitting color. Come on. I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly push it out. Oh my gosh. This is such a mess. I don't know how they did this. It's like coming out of the back right here. Ah! Come on. Oh my god. Oh, that's such a mess. I definitely ruined this glue gun, that's for sure. <laughs> That sounds so gross. Maybe if I put some hot glue in there, I think that might do something. Let's try it. Oh, it's kind of working. Come on. Come on. I got to put something underneath it. Yeah, there we go. I got to make it look like she's spitting color. Come on. Ah, they definitely make this look easier than it really is. Oh, gosh. Now it's just spitting out hot glue. Ah, I'm going to put some purple in there. Maybe that will do something. Maybe I have to let it slowly drip out. Oh, we got purple coming out. Very little purple, though. Oh. I think I may have just broken this glue gun. Oh, my gosh. Maybe like this? Okay, oh, it's coming out. Oh, it's working. Ah, 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 ah. Oh. I got hot glue all over my hand. Oh my gosh, that really hurt. Woo! Ow, dude, that freaking stings. Oh, and I got it all over the glue gun. This doesn't look like it's working too well. Yeah, it looks great. Honestly, it looks fantastic. I mean, besides messing up the glue gun, I guess we're gonna it. this one works. Here's our rope. Here's my plant. This is Tuss. I don't know if any of you guys would really remember this guy. So it looks like we have to go and make the Airbnb symbol. And then we have to twist it right here. Okay. I think I already cut this uh, too short. Okay. So up here. Like that. And then that right there. And this goes under here. And then over. And oh my gosh, this is so confusing. Oh my gosh. Okay. And then just like that, we have our very own. Oh, come on, please work. Oh, I didn't do it right. It's going to take me a couple tries for this one. So you sit over there. So you start. Make the Airbnb sign and right on the cross. You put this guy and then this goes through here And then this guy goes here and these go through here just like that. We should <gasps> it actually holds him It's holding tight. Wow. This actually works. Well guys, I guess we have to say this one works Okay, now that I have this half-eaten baked potato, which was delicious, by the way, we're gonna go ahead and see if this works. So I think they put one inside out like this. Yeah, looking good. Put that in there. And we're like, oh no, our baked potato, it's too big. Actually, it fits in the bag perfectly. Uh, just pretend with me here, guys. It's just too big for this bag. This baked potato is way too big for this bag. So then we're gonna do this. Uh, come on. <gasps> it's sticking. I feel like I need practice for this or something. Okay, maybe I have to switch them. Okay, now it's not sticking at all. What am I supposed to do here? This is ridiculous. Just stick on there. Oh my goodness. Just buy bigger bags next time, guys. Oh, this is aggravating. Okay, I can't get it to freaking stick, okay? One side does it, but the other side doesn't because how it's made. I'll try it one more time. I just want to put my baked potato away so that it doesn't become bad. <gasps> oh, I got the stick. Oh my gosh, I actually did it. Oh. Okay, we got it to stick together. Well, guys, I guess we can say it works. It's just very time consuming, though. I spent five minutes doing this. Now let's try to open it up. Oh yeah, that's some nice baked potato. Mm, yummy. So here's our water filter. Here's our Mountain Dew. Let's go ahead and take this top off. Now we're just gonna go ahead and put that in there. Oh, that is definitely leaking out red. Oh my gosh. This is already not working. <laughs> Can you see that? Yeah, that's definitely not working. Oh, that's black. Is that, is that, what is that? I did buy this Brita water filter at a yard sale, so I don't doubt that this is disgusting. Is that black mold? Did they really sell me a water filter with black mold in it? That's disgusting. Well guys, I'm gonna have to say this one doesn't work.
Oh, 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 that's hot. That's hot. Here's our box. Here's the cup I'm gonna use. Let's go ahead and draw some circles, shall we? One right there. This side looks good. I'm gonna do this side. Next side. So it'll be like that. Yeah, I think that might work. Next, I need to cut the circles out. Woo. This is definitely the correct way to cut this. No, it's not. I need to fix this. Maybe we'll get some GoPro shots in here. Oh, hey, how's it going? You can tell I really tried on that one. Okay, let's get all this junk out. Don't need any of that. Now we gotta add all the cups. That one kind of fits. Oh no. I think I was actually supposed to cut out the bottom of these two. It's gonna take forever. Maybe if I put all the cups kind of in one spot and then try and cut out the bottom, it'll work. Oh man, these bottoms really cut really easily. Ooh, that kind of worked. Add some more. This is actually working. Woo, yeah, that ought to do it. Put this in here. Okay, glue gun's all warmed up. Here we go. Here we go. Now we gotta wait for this to cool. Okay, glue's all cooled. Uh, let's put our phone in this bad boy. I forgot to cut the hole. Let's do that right now. I'm never gonna find that. Oh, okay, so right here. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's put some tunes on. Oh, wait, I can't actually play any good music because I'll get copywritten. Let's look up some royalty-free music. Okay, so that's just playing out of my phone. Let's see how it sounds now. I don't know, I feel like this kind of sounds the same. Maybe if I put my whole phone in there, because I think there's speakers on both sides. Okay, so we're just gonna... Oh, that sounds a lot louder. I just realized I can't get it out now. How am I supposed to get it out? I didn't think about this. Well, it looks like we have to operate. I'll save you, bro! Where are you? Ah, oh, get out of there! Why did I do this to myself? Okay, let's try it again. You tell me which one do you think is louder. You ready? It kind of sounds the exact same. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one, uh, it doesn't work, guys. I don't think it does, but it looks pretty cool. I mean, now I have like a weird boombox thing. I don't even know what you'd call this, but I have it now, it's cool. So thanks a bunch, Five Minute Crafts. You're weak. Ha. Guys, you'll never guess what this next hack is. You guessed it, a watermelon hack. So let's just cut off the top. Maybe I gotta go for this more like a jack-o'-lantern kind of top. Yeah, that ought to do it. Okay. Looks like we got a lot of good stuff in here. Let's cut it all out. Oh. Let's see, will that all come out? Nope, not looking good. Oh, got a little piece. I think I gotta do this more. Or even better, I can break out our old friend, the Mixitron 5000. Shove that in there, and then here we go. Oh, man. Oh, no. Okay. Got all the good juices. Oh, no. It looks like <laughs> looks like this thing kind of broke off a little bit. I need to replace this anyway. I've used it for so many things. We'll just go ahead and pop in a new one. There we go. Let's try this again. Oh, much better. So much watermelon juice in this. Yeah, it looks pretty good. We've now liquefied all of our watermelon juice. Let's just go ahead and dump it out. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah, just like a pumpkin. Oh, got a couple of these guys in there. Wouldn't want to choke on one of those. Okay, now we'll get our dispenser. Can I take that off? Now I have to drill a hole that will fit this. So, uh, yeah, this looks like it'll do. Put the Mixitron 5000 away. And we break out our drill. As you can see, it's a lot different than the Mixitron 5000. Don't get them mixed up. They're completely different tools. I'm gonna go ahead and say about right here. Here we go. And we're just gonna tap it. Screw this in. Oh man. Get in there. We're trying not to break the watermelon. Just slowly but surely screw it in. And it will hopefully not break. Oh, I think I did it. It worked. Okay, now I'm gonna try and screw the back part on really quick. See if I can do this without messing everything up. It was actually going on for a second. Come on. You can do it. And I think we're good. Woo! Awesome. I made a dispenser. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on a little stand. Then we're gonna fill it with our Coca-Cola. Let's hope this doesn't leak everywhere. Here we go. I think I might need a little bit more. You know what? Let's just add some of this watermelon juice in there. What could hurt it? Am I right? Oh, that's disgusting. Watermelon Coke. Am I right, guys? Man, this looks so gross. 
I'm gonna add a little bit more. Now let's put our top on. There we go. Oh, got a little bit coming out there. Does it dispense? Let me see. It actually comes out. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it recommended that we chill it for a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the freezer, and I'll try it in like 20 minutes. Okay, it's been a little bit over an hour. Let's test this out. I need a cup. So here we go. I'm gonna try this. Oh, it's actually dispensing. That's kind of crazy. I think that it might be getting a little bit clogged from the watermelon, um, but overall, this idea definitely works. Let's see if this watermelon Coke is any good. It's not bad, but it's not great either. This would definitely be like a fun novelty thing I would bring to a party, uh, but I probably wouldn't put the watermelon chunks back in there. Maybe we just gotta mix it up a little bit. Come on, you got this dispenser. Oh, it's not even coming out at all now. Well, I tried, and that's all that matters. But I guess we can say this one works! <laughs> Let's make a watermelon basket, shall we? Here's my knife. I'm just gonna, oops. <laughs> so I have to cut this in half like that, and then gotta do this. Come on, here we go. There we go. I'm gonna make this handle extra thick. That way it doesn't break. There we go. Don't need that anymore. Not looking bad so far. And then we just cut this part out. There we go. Now I just gotta cut the inside up. Get out of there. Dump all these out. We don't need all this. Yeah. Just haul this puppy out. Now for the other side. Ugh. Slice like that. And another. And another. Here we go. Yeah. Now we have a perfect basket that we can hold. Now we just gotta put all this back in here. Ah, yes. Perfect for any occasion. A watermelon basket. Just hold it like there. Well, guys, I guess we can say it works. What am I supposed to do with all this watermelon? <sighs> oh, well. Okay, let's hollow out another watermelon, shall we? Let's cut off the top. Okay, get that off. Cool, cool. Hollow it out with the Mixitron 5000. Check it in there. Awesome, stuck with all this juice again. I really wish I had a use for all this juice. Okay, almost done. Now we're stuck with all this juice. Awesome. Put that off to the side. Now it's time to carve our jack-o'-lantern face. Break out the old X-Acto knife. Here we go, just put a square there. One. Okay, here we go. And just push that out. And hopefully, yep, it's not coming out. Okay, maybe just cut some of these bad boys out. Come on. There we go. Pop that out. Woo! We did it! And here's our jack-o'-lantern. It's a little bit funny looking, but that's fine. Okay, put our top back on. Looks good. It's a little bit off center, and now it keeps falling backwards. Oh, we're good. I'm gonna go ahead and add a candle to it. Let's hope I don't burn myself. Come on. I did it! Cool! Let's turn off all the lights. Put the top back on. Oh, that makes it a little back heavy. There we go. Well, guys, I guess we can say that this one works. This is a very inefficient jack-o'-lantern, and I feel like a pumpkin would last a lot longer than a watermelon. But if this is what you want to do, I mean, you can do it. It does work. Here's our hair tie. It's actually kind of hard to get it through the air vent and then just like stick my finger in there. So I'm gonna have to use my keys or something. Here we go. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, got it. All we have to do is put our phone in there. Woo! There we go! Big speed turn off. We don't want you right now. Well guys, I guess we can say it works! Although my recommendation... Oh, come on, get this out of here. Instead of going through all that, all you have to do is... Got our wires crossed. Shut up, Big Speed! Instead of going through all that, all you have to do is put Velcro on the back of your phone and then... Boom! It sticks! Easy peasy! Robbie Live Hacks! You're welcome! That's my version of this one. Well, don't need this anymore. Okay, so here's our nice and refreshing Coca-Cola. Not sponsored, by the way, guys. I wish I was sponsored by Coke. That would be cool. We get our chopsticks. Apparently, we're just supposed to put it like that. And then we push up. You ready? One, two, and pow! One more time. One, two, and pow! Oh, almost. Ooh, we're kind of chipping a little bit here. Okay, ready? One, two, and... I'm kind of scared. This is kind of scary. One, two, and... Okay, I'm gonna try it with the back part. I think the chopsticks have to be, like, stuck together, but I don't have any of those. These are the only ones I have. I don't want to hit my hand on the sharp part, so... One, two, and... Ah! Why isn't this working? I'm gonna go ahead and try it with a screwdriver instead. One, two, three, and... Oh, it almost did it! One, two, and... Oh, oh no! It's exploding! It's exploding! It did open though! <sighs> okay, let's try this again. Okay, here we go. One, two, and. Oh, man. One, two, and. Ah! One, two, and. Ah! Let's finish it off with these chopsticks. This is so much harder than I thought it would How be. How the heck am I supposed to hold this? One, two, and. Ah! Okay, I can't seem to get this to work. 
Okay, so I'm having a really hard time with this one, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that for the average person, you can't really just do this on the first try, uh, but with some practice, I'm sure you can do it. So I'm gonna say this kind of works. Here's my favorite method of opening a bottle. You ready? You put it on the table, and then you just go. Uh, now that's how you open a bottle. Oh yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure you give a thumbs up with some of this fire right down there. If you guys want the shirt, some stickers, or any of my other merch, you can click right here in the description down below. If you guys are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Okay, guys, love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. I'm Okay, bye!